Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seminaries to Die. We are going to be checking out the Asia mod for the first time in a very long time. I think I last placed this in like Alpha 19, 18. Uh, can't, even, can't even remember when. That's how long ago it was. And yeah, apparently there's a new version out. It's 2.0.0. Um, I just realized that I have load shedding power outages scheduled for now until 12, like for two, the next two hours. So I'm hoping the power does not go off tonight. Is uh, over here, it can go off, it can't go off. It's like a 50 50 shot. So I'm really hoping the Thanks stream does not get interrupted by that. Let me just quickly make sure all the settings are working fine. Uh, you'll see in the description down below, I have a link to the Discord of Asia Mod. Uh, I don't think it's public yet, it's only for the streamers for this weekend. And then as soon as it goes live, I'll make a link in the description uh, for where you can download it. For now though, it's only for streamers that actually uh, have access to it. You can go to their Discord as well if you want to go and uh, give your support, uh, your thoughts, opinions, all that kind of stuff. Go over there. It is, it is linked down below. And yeah. Okay, so we are going to be going with the Asia Mod 2K1 map. Now it says it's a 4 by I don't know what the 2K means because it's a 4 by 4 k But let's just say Asia first attempt. Okay, did I make a space there? Yeah. Okay, so the game name, Asia First Attempt. We're going to be using the game world, Asia Mod 2K. Um, I think let's go for Nomad for this stream. We just want to make sure we have fun, we explore it, uh, give our thoughts and opinions on the mod. So we don't want to make it like insanely OP. Uh, I'm actually thinking of keeping the, uh, the XP nice and high so that we can progress faster. Now remember guys, this is dumb because Day 7 will have more zombies. But if the faster you level, the more skills you can invest and all that stuff. So this might actually help us just explore the mod a bit. If you guys like the stream enough, I'll do a video series on this mod next. And then we'll go for like normal default settings, warrior difficulty, all that stuff. So for now, we are going to be doing walk, jog, run. Uh, Blood Moon is Nightmare and it is a 64 Blood Moon spawn like we usually do. Loot Abundance we will put normal and then block damage we'll put high just so we can break trees and stuff fast. Like I said, we just want to explore, have fun. We don't want to go chop and chop and chop and chop and take too long. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see what is, what's different on this. Drop and quit, nothing. Drop and death, backpack. Uh, allow access. Okay, so the last time I played this, guys, um, apparently they said they wanted to have you wear like um, a samurai armor and stuff like that. But apparently they couldn't achieve that as far as I'm aware. Uh, because they had problems with the fun pumps and the, the rights to the stuff and all that. So I think your armor is still normal armor. But the zombie armor is still the samurai armor. I'm kind of curious to see what has changed in the world. Um, because yeah, I can remember last time we didn't have horses or anything yet. So you had to run super, super fast. So I'm hoping there's actually animals you can ride and stuff like that now as well. Okay. Hello stranger, I found you on a beach, you are just barely alive, things are bad here. The disease keeps spreading, I can't help any further and you are on your own, the tip for you. Be careful in this hard time, good. <laughs> what a tip, after waking up you realize that you have no defense or positions other than your bare fist. You decide to forget everything you know, knew so far, you know that you explore this unknown territory from scratch and try to pay attention to tips, hints as well. You write the most important knowledge in your diary, if something goes wrong, seek out a trader. Okay, if I'm not mistaken guys, this is our, this is our tool belt for now. Uh, and to make this go even bigger, you have to go and do quests for the trade and he's going to expand it. Uh, that's what I can still remember from last time. Okay, now I did see... Oh, yeah. No, why don't you just... Did I just eat grass? Oh, yeah, you don't even have a backpack. You have nothing right now. Uh, but yeah, um, I saw a post on the Discord saying that there's some kind of bug or something with servers. I don't know if it's also with single player, but so far it looks like everything is working okay. Damn, we only have four slots. You don't have a bag yet and can't help, uh, can't, can hold objects only in your hands. So we only have four slots of here. On fibers we can always pick up. What is this? Fresh grass. I was able to eat it, but it doesn't seem like it gives you any nutritional value or it takes away or anything. I think I'm close to a trader because just now when I placed this down, it didn't allow me to uh, place in a certain area. It was red. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to this now as well. On fiber shirt. Put the shirts on right away, not fancy, but yours, pants. 
Like I said, at least it doesn't go in your belt because your belt isn't big enough. Yeah, the plant fibers, two, and small stones. Small stones, small stones. Craft axe. Yeah, I usually make frames as well because it's easier getting away. Oh, now we have a backpack. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. You can actually see it's very encumbered. Of yes, you only have like eight slots to work with. But if you keep the tool on you, uh, gather wood, gather plant fibers, craft a wooden bat. I'm just going to go through the quest themselves. I want to make... Ooh, this looks kind of cool. I'm guessing this is a new sto uh, stone um, thing. Guys, you can actually see there's, gonna, uh, there's a lot of effort that went into the designs and stuff. I mean, everything looks... Wait, what is my graphical settings on right now? Video? Quality? Full texture, okay. Um, but yeah, you can actually see that I put a lot of effort into it. I mean, the stones were reworked, the trees were, re were reworked. Looks interesting already. Hey, Mark, and hey, Alan. Strange graphic, must get used to it. Yeah, this is completely like a new... They revamped every, almost like Undead Legacy. They revamped everything. My graphic settings is actually low at the moment. Let me just see if I can't... Video, I need to remember because in my other series now, this is also going to get affected. I think if I put the grass and object quality higher, the trees and everything will look better as well. But the problem is, I'm afraid of lag. Uh, water quality, reflect the shadows. Shadow distance. If I put this on, everything will at least have a little bit, a few shadows and stuff. Looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, let me just really finish this tree down over here and then grab the plant fibers. I think last time I got to like the day 49 horde or something. Uh, craft rope, two of them. Kind of cool. You have to craft a rope with the plant fibers and then with the bark and the rope, you have to craft yourself a club. Wooden club. I oh, know, but this bark is something else, it seems. I think I got the bark off of the... Yeah, just like we got fresh grass and plant fibers, we got the bark and the wood. That's kind of cool. Okay, now why did that go in over here? Did this just spawn the zombie in? Because all of a sudden I just hear this thing. The noise it makes is kind of uh, kind of like a bee zombie or thing, something. I think that spawned this in just now. You are a lucky man. The peon not only dropped a bag of items, but also carried on his body a small bag. Now he does not need it, and you do not hesitate long and take possession of it. You can now carry more items with you. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Fire starter, oak seed, land claim, torch. Just see the torch quickly. Nice. Okay, that's, lo that's looking good. Uh, we have water, and I actually want to put this away and put some frames on us. It says place oak seed. We don't really want to place it here, though. It looks like there's a town over there, but I don't know if that's a trader as well. Let's go this way. I need to be careful. I remember last time I played this mod, there were um, wolves all over as well. I need to be careful just in case there's a wolf or two over here. Looks like a small village, but I don't know if that means there's also a trader cl uh, close by or not. Okay, let me just quickly place this stuff down so I know it is down. Just in case I die, I know I can actually spawn in a safe place. Gather yeah, bamboo. Bamboo is that stuff over there. I keep hearing... I don't know if it's the music in the game that's like so low or something, but I keep hearing a weird, it's almost like a, a quest failed kind of sound. Yeah, the plant fibers, should probably use my fist just in case. I don't want to break my tools too off too fast, but I think you can also repair it quite easily, so no biggie. I do see the small grass over here as well. We get craft four more ropes. Seed. Tree bamboo sprout. So I can make my own bamboo. Simple healing. I should probably put the healing over here. But I want to actually go and put my frames over here so I can stack up and away from any wolves that come for us. The frames, it seems, only uses wood, so that's fine. Primitive bow. And five bamboo arrows. Oh yeah, you just need bamboo to make arrows. It's, it's a very crappy arrow, but at least it, it's arrows. You can actually make stuff with it. What is this? Fragment, gondo, small part of weapon or tool. You can use this for writing recipe improvement books. Paper. 
I should probably see if I can't make myself a chest of some kind. Just to drop all my stuff in for now and then I can just leave it by my bedroll. Okay, so let's see. Frames, can I make a chest? Hmm, it seems you need a uh, tool for it as well. That is not good. I need to actually see if I can't take over a POI and claim it. That way I can at least have some storage on the inside that I might be able to drop stuff on. Okay, so we have our bow as well. Uh, let's do this. This, and then over here we can put our frames. I'm just gonna make 10 for now. Basically, you want to make sure you at least have one frame. Just do this. You want to make sure you have one or two frames so you can stack up and away from any wolves that come for you. Because I know last time it was a big problem. Base frame, upgrade frame. Okay, gather small stone, make a fire. Small stone, small stone. It's a shame it doesn't show you those same lights as in, I think, Undead Legacy. It shows you where this... Okay, let's just go for this rock over here. Uh, because in Undead Legacy, it actually shows you, like, lights on where the... Uh, like, on the screen, there's, like, a pillar there, pillar there. And, you know, okay, there's all the stones and stuff I need. Oh, okay, whoa. Four and five. I want to break the boulder over here, but it seems there's no need for that. Craft a campfire. An Asian mod. Old. Hey, fix it. What do you mean, did they fix it? Uh, what, what was wrong with it? I don't know what, you, uh, what you're referring to when you say that. Okay, activate fire. Wait, is it this thing you have to? Um, do you just do this? He'll scream. Oh, please don't tell me to actually scream something just now. Or spawn something. This is the old screamer design. She looks different. No, she looks like a geisha. Her face was painted just now. You have survived the first few hours and learned the basics of survival. However, you cannot survive without friends. There are some traders in the area who would like to meet you. Maybe they have a quest for you. Or two. And some raw materials that you can't find otherwise. Well, good luck. Okay, the trader seems to be... Oh, this is my bedroll design. I was looking at this, uh, the mini-map, the compass. I was like, what is that thing? Okay, so the trader's all the way over there. I wonder if I should live over here or if I should live by the trader. I think it seems like it's close, so I'll just make that call. I can always just make myself another tatami mat, uh, tatami mat if I need to. I want to go in there, but I don't know if it's going to be safe or not. I think let's just first go to the trader to make sure- Oh yeah, look at the uh, tool belt, guys. I just got two extra slots just now, and I didn't even realize it. Oh, 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 oh please tell me we can still make bow knife. Bow knife, bow knife. I think we still- Yeah, we can. We need one more. So you can still make bow knives. Nice. Okay, so that we can put on us. What is this? Paintbrush. I'm starting to get way too full. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is severe encumbrance. Damn. I can't move at all at the moment because of uh, my encumbrance right now. Just one item. Look how slow I am right now. So the encumbrance in this mod is insanely OP. You just passed a, uh, a bird's nest. I'm going to have to be so careful right now. <laughs> Literally one item on me and I can barely move. Like one item too much. Or too many. Oh, look at the scenery over here. Nice. No, I'm dead. That is messed up. I'm too encumbered right now to move, run away. Okay, so there are tigers in the game, and I don't have enough arrows to kill it. Stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still. No! Stand still! Go for the frame I'm standing on, please. Don't go for the other frame that's keeping everything up. Okay, I need to uh, throw one thing away quickly. I'm gonna have to run. Oh, 
I'm out of arrows. I'm gonna have to stack up next to that tree if I'm fast enough. Oh, this is bad. I literally saw the face and I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Yeah, I might not be fast enough to place this frame. Forget about me. 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 Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so that's new in the game. Um, tigers. <laughs> There's almost like starvation mod. Oh, I got so close to dying just now. But we need better arrows and stuff because I was like, oh, look at the sea. Ooh. Uh, Chris, the only problem I had was like you couldn't, uh, there was no transport, so you couldn't drive far or run for, you had to run all the way. Um, there was no transport and the armors were just normal armors. There was still like a few vanilla in-game items. Um, you still can only wear vanilla items, unfortunately, but now I want to get away from you. Um, even though you can only wear vanilla items, so frazzled right now. Uh, even though you can only wear vanilla items, uh, everything else uh, has been fixed and you can see there are even new animals um where the hell did that thing go just now now i'm scared i might have to run around the, the trader's right there i'm hoping the trader's claimed but i also need a ton of bamboo right now to kill this tiger When I saw the face just now, I completely just went, oh, 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 damn. What is, what are you? What is you? Okay, I need to be careful now. Hello, Shredder. Um, oh, they aggro, they aggro, my stamina is low. I did not know they aggroed. Okay, now I know. You be careful, there might be vultures and stuff by these things. Might be zombie dogs as well. Okay, so so far I'm not doing that well. Um, I need to get used to this mod again. Wait, what is stamina? The dark blue. Okay, it seems he has a ton of armor because even though I'm hitting him. Okay, now he went down. I'm guessing that was a little bit of a, uh, a lag, a bug or something. There are still a few bugs, guys. Like I said, in the description down below, there is a link to the Discord for this mod. If you want to share your thoughts and opinions, perhaps even suggest a few things that should go in the mod, you can actually go to their Discord and comment there as well. They actually ask that everyone just please uh, deliver their thoughts on this. What are you? Okay, he just died. I need better gear right now. This is way too bad. Okay, we can make a bone knife now at least so we can bleed them. And then I need to figure out... No, not this. I need bamboo. I need to make as many arrows as possible for that uh, tiger. Okay, so that <laughs> that was bad. The moment I just took a step over that ridge to look at the nice view, tiger in front of me. The the visual for the tiger uh, tiger isn't that clean yet. It's not like wow, but yeah, it's definitely looking good. It's they just dropped some stuff over here quickly. Uh, do that, do that. Even just having one. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Just having one item to menu on you slows you down. So if that tiger attacks again, I want to be able to run away. That's definitely new, guys. Last time there were only um, vanilla animals in the game. Now there's even tigers. The tiger doesn't look as great. Um, there was a, a mod called Starvation Mod in Alpha 16 that had tigers and crocodiles and stuff. For some reason, this one, I don't know if, I, if one of my settings is perhaps off. But it didn't look crisp. It didn't look clear. But it was scary as hell. <laughs> All of a sudden, seeing this thing that I'm not used to. Okay, so we should be okay. I'm not even going to loot anything right now because we don't have the space. Be careful of zombie dogs and stuff as well. I have no... Oh, that's pretty. The leaves and everything is actually falling from the trees. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, I have no idea where that wolf... Or not the wolf, the tiger just went. I need to be... Okay, your sound is really weird. Just now, I could have sworn that I heard the tiger again, but it was his weird grunting sound. So all you need to do is bleed them and then knock them down. 
And I can kill them myself, but you have to make sure that your stamina comes back. There is a crawler over here somewhere in the grass. I just saw it. Okay, he just died. Nice. Now, where, oh, where is that tiger? The, the textures don't look... It says 2K, but this doesn't feel 2K. Is there something wrong with my settings? Texture high, reflection and all that stuff can be low. That's not important. But for some reason, the, the zombies and the, the animals and stuff look a little bit blurry. It's not object and terrain and uh, grass and stuff. That, I don't know. Perhaps, uh, perhaps that will get fixed in time. I'm guessing you're the trainer. Okay, so he actually speaks... Um, that almost sounded Japanese, but I don't want to say it and then I'm wrong. But that sounded Japanese just now. Am I right or wrong, guys? Was that Japanese or was that just an Asian dial uh, dialect? Okay, so we kind of need the spear, but I think we can make the stone spear on our own. Food. Oh, okay, we don't have any coin or anything right now, so I just need space. I think let's just do a few jobs for him and see what... Hello friend, how can I help you? I wonder if that's what he's saying because that sounds a little bit long. Okay, uh, fetch quest. You can see that I'm uh, I'm a foreigner in this country and uh, I, I'm, I'm here. Oh, I don't know if the character itself was... Uh, are you kidding me? There's no... I thought I might be able to drop some stuff again. I can't move at all. Okay, we have four skill points. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, you have to spend five points for this. Let's just click check. So dragon is intelligence. Bear is melee, but this is action skill related, it seems. Um, sub roll, second thing from Asian mod. I wanted to see this. Typo coming. Okay, but uh, guys, uh, this, uh, this is all action skills. The more you use these, that's why it says non-applicable for the skill points. So uh, just like Darkest Falls and that stuff, the more you use weapons, the more it grows. Um... I want to see though, I need storage, but I think the storage only has to do cardio training, non-applicable. Wait, can't you put any points in this at all? Not applicable. Okay, so this just seems the more you use stuff, the more you'll be able to do this. Perhaps I can read a book or two that'll unlock them more for us. I know unlocking more of the belt, you have to do quests for him. But I thought I might be able to get a little bit like carry capacity and stuff like that because I mean there's parkour here. But even the parkour seems it's action uh, skill motivated. Or orientated. So I'm just gonna have to go for this stuff over here. Workbench, tailors, uh, tanning and tailor station. But all of this is like five points. Yeah, we don't have five points right now. And I am so encumbered. I need to drop a few things first. Uh, bark, we can always get again, I think. Uh, what's this? Oh, Tetsubo. It's a, it's a club, right? Which is better over here? This one or this one? Okay, so normal attack damage for this uh, Tetsubo is, uh, is higher. It's basically a club with like spikes and stuff on it. Stamina cost, the club is better. Attacks per minute, club is better. Yeah, the club overall is better than this thing. So I can just well either scrap it or throw it away. So I need the space right now on me. I, I can't afford to be encumbered. Animal fat, I think we might be able to use. And then food and drink. Where can you see the character screen? I want to see how full or how hungry I am. Death XP penalty protection. Okay, water is 20, uh, 72 out of 100. This gives you 20. So drinking that will not fill me all the way up, but it will come close. Mochi is food. I wonder if you can claim the trader, but I doubt it. I need to see if I can't find a storage thing like that. Yeah, you can't place down by the trader. I want to see if I can't find a storage what container. Chest? Oh, yes. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, there's a chest over here. Water. I think we can actually scoop water. The problem is now going to be killing that bloody tiger. Soy sauce. Soy oil. Fresh grass. Chili powder. I need this for light. Uh, we can put the seed away. I need this. I don't know if we're going to need this, the fire starter, because you only need that on you when you... Wait, is this a... Very useful tool to fire up lamps and lanterns with candles. So this is a tool. Okay, let me just explore this place quickly before we continue. I wish I knew uh, new Asian languages and stuff, then I can actually understand what this dude was saying. 
That's coin we can spend. Yeah. I'm hoping there's no hole or something somewhere. Or oh, imagine that the tiger can actually jump over here. That would be so terrifying. A water well. I wonder though. No, I, I'm guessing you have to loot it like this. I wonder if I put this in here where it will refill, but I'm doubting it. Oh, nice. Look at the dojo over here. Okay, it's a little bit dark, so let's just do this. The attention to detail is actually insane. It's just a shame there's not more to loot. I know over here, there's an armor stand. Fragment, Doragon. Weapon or tool can use for writing recipes. Test. Ooh, damage crossbow, but it's still better than, uh, than what I have. Well, the sneak damage on the bow is higher, but the crossbow, look at the damage difference. If I can make myself some bolts, and we have a small shovel, nice. If I can make myself some bolts, we might be able to kill that um, tiger. That's a lot of meat. Damage Tanto, this is a small knife, or sword rather. I'm guessing that's better than this one. Sneak damage once again, the sneak damage on the bone knife is more, but we don't need sneak damage, we need bleed damage. Like overall just damage. Also, it seems this thing's stamina cost is 20, this one is 8. So this one's definitely better than that knife. Airy clothing and cooling. Yeah, what is this? I think most of the stuff, as soon as I have more space and have actually storage and stuff, I'll be able to just look into it and see what I can do. Okay, so there is a chest over here. I'm just going to use this then to drop my stuff for now. Fill the nuggets I might be able to sell. Um. Yeah, 132. I wonder. I actually like the pleasant voice. Okay, we need stone crossbow bolts and stuff. Can I make those? I'm going to need wood and I'm going to need stone to be able to make those. But can we make them already or do we need to unlock them? Uh, bolts. Yes, we can make them. Okay, uh, ooh, you need two feathers per. That's kind of expensive. I, I think that if you do, did it in the workbench, it's supposed to be a little bit cheaper as well, but it's not. Okay, so at least now we know what to look for. So for now, we'll not use that. We'll use this. We'll use this as well. And the shovel, we'll not use for now as well. I need more storage space. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This stuff's... Oh, I wonder if this is a trap. I couldn't stand on the shuriken just now because it was actually sharp. Oh, no. Your skill parkour has increased. Oh, okay, from jumping like this. My parkour, uh, my parkour skill just went up. Now I'm actually kind of worried what's outside the gate of here. It almost looks like I'm uh, using a half textures because it just looks really dull. It's pretty and everything, but it's almost like it's uh, at like 480p or something. What is that coming inside now? Is that the spider zombie? Yeah, let me just run away. Dude, are you gonna help me over here, or am I gonna have to deal with these on my own? I need to be careful, I need to go do that quest, but also that tiger is still in the area over here. I need to actually- wait, wait, wait. Remember guys, if you're dealing with a crawler, it's always best to crouch next to them. Oh, there's a bunny over there. The problem is I can't see the HP. Obviously, it's not immersive if you can see the HP, but it would be fun to actually be able to just tell how much further or how much more you have to attack them. There's so many zombies. Remember, you don't have to attack them. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I'm also looking for the XP. For the stream, for those who don't know, I went for 100 and... No, 200% XP. Hello, hello. So the more I kill right now, the more it's going to help with the skill points and stuff. Okay, he's not dead yet, unfortunately. Left click. Left click. I have to make sure I don't do too many power attacks right now. Just bleed them. Just bleed them. I just wonder where that bloody uh, tiger went. I wonder if I can lure them towards the tiger. Like run around the tiger and let the tiger kill it. Or kill them. I think that uh, zombies, even in vanilla, the animals actually help kill zombies as well. Oh crap, this is broke. That is not good. Wooden club skill has increased. Although at the moment, it's already helping me much. 
I can't remember actually where that uh, tiger was. He's gonna hit me. Oops. Stamina ran out. Okay. She just sounds like <laughs> exasperated. Okay, so we should actually go uh, put this knife down and grab this bone knife. But guys, this is way too many zombies right off the bat. And there's another one still in there. I need to go do that quest, but I can't afford for these guys to be around here. Um, I'm also going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for nighttime. I need a base. Oh, he does not sound happy. Wait, what is my sound on at the moment? I want to hear the noises they make. The nice thing about the club is you can hit multiple zombies at the same time. But you can also aggro multiple at the same time if you're not careful. I want to save the, the arrows we have for the tiger. I don't know how many um, how much HP the tiger actually has left now. That's a problem for us. I keep running out of stamina. The nice thing is the more you use the club, the less stamina you should use after a while. I was hoping the tiger doesn't come here while I'm dealing with these guys. I guess I'm just having to have to run away for now. Because we need to go do that quest. It is a retrieve quest. It's just a fetch. You know what? Let's just leave these guys alone. Until we can actually deal with our stamina and stuff a bit more. Because at the moment, it's going to take forever to kill them. And the only knife, the sword thing we had, is now broken. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If I can get a ton of arrows right now. Or a ton of, I mean, feathers, we'll be able to raise our supports. Hey, Sam, thank you so much stream, for your dude. support, survivor. And thank you for the notion, sir. I've much appreciated. Okay, so this is... Oh, I almost said, I thought that was a uh, vicious chicken. Like a hostile chicken. You are following me all the way. I can't focus on the quest if he's coming from behind. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy's tough. Look at him running. Looks like an animal. How am I supposed to kill this dude, though? Because he has so much armor. And look how fast he is. Please, no tiger. Thank you. I can't even get the arrows back. That sucks. Come on. You guys just don't want to let up, do you? I wonder if you can kill them easier if you go for the headshots. So obviously, if they're wearing armor... Oh, I only have 34 arrows left. Um, they're wearing armor right now, so they're harder to kill, but if you hit them in the face with an arrow, that should kill them easier, right? Be careful, that tiger is in the area over here somewhere. I'm guessing this, yeah, this means fetch. Oh, this is a cool quest. It almost looks like one of those things that, uh, that they use as tributes to send fire into the sky. Uh, Mr. Squeegee, this is both. Um, they gave a few streamers the rights to stream it uh, three days early. So after this weekend, they're going to be releasing, to, uh, re uh, releasing it to the public. This fetch is where... I don't want to deal with dogs and stuff right now. So if I can just go around them. So yeah, um, after this weekend, they should iron out the kinks and then everyone should have access to it by Monday. There's yeah, sleepers and stuff all around. I don't know if it's inside this house. Way too many zombies. Oh crap, I can't close that. As long as there's no dog, I'll be okay. It's inside this house. There are so many zombies over here again. It's at the back over here. Okay, so I need to try and see if I can't... Ooh, hello crawler. I need to lure them away, but I can't get too far away from the uh, from the POI. Otherwise, I fail the quest. Um, thanks, Sam. Uh, Padre, hi all. Uh, wow, well, I know what to. Uh, I would do in three days. Thanks for streaming it. I've been waiting for this update to happen. Yeah, it's actually so far, guys. It's looking pretty. For those of you that missed it, we got attacked by a tiger, an actual tiger. So, ooh. You are freaking me out. I wonder if you can actually set them alight. They crawl so fast, it's freaky. Oh, 
crawler dude to the right. I don't have enough HP left to deal with these guys. So for now, we'll just see if we can't just, uh, yeah, just fake it out. Guys, look how many zombies there are. And they're so hard to kill. This is no mad difficulty. This isn't warrior difficulty. No mad I'm having this much trouble. I want to see where that crawler dude is. Okay, they're running. They look feral. So we are out of here. Thank you. No, 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 no. That is a little bit too much to ask for. The guys in there are feral. They're actually running. Okay, guys, I'll read your comments as I have time as well. Because like I said, I'll need to try and not die over here. And so far, these zombies are incredibly hard to kill. Because they're wearing armor. Unfortunately, um, it's, it seems that they haven't been able to put this armor in for us. Because last time, a lot of people also said it'd be cool if you can actually wear like this... Samurai armor, but apparently that's not in the game at the moment. I, I can't remember what they said. It's something to do with uh, the fun firms not allowing them or something like that. Um, why am I looking at the floor now? Okay, um, I like the HUD. Yeah, this, uh, this actually so far is really... Oh, I just realized I got a cooking pot. Nice. So far, I'm actually really loving this. The only problem is, like I said, I'm barely doing any damage. It seems at least the starter bow can use any arrows. That's awesome. Plant fibers are easy enough to, uh, to get. Let's make some bolts for our broken... I wonder if we can repair them. We have a broken crossbow over here. We might be able to repair, uh, repair it and then use it. And then also, I want to do this. Did I throw away the other knife? Oh, no, it's yeah. It's broken, so I can't use that at all. I need more storage, though. And, ooh, I keep forgetting. Don't step on this. These shuriken over here are actually sharp. It's like a trap. I'm guessing you can help. You can use it to kill zombies and stuff as well. Okay, uh, it's getting late, and I am so screwed right now. Um, let's just see if I can't repair this. I need wood. I might just disable the... Oh, I can actually get the arrow back. I didn't think I could. I might just disable the shadows later so I can actually see a bit better. Because we already don't have a mining helmet and it's getting dark. I want to see if they can climb on these shuriken tables and also perhaps bleed themselves to death. Stamina is so low right now. I just I need to use my first aid kit. Only gives you 15 and he's running. Okay, yeah. <laughs> It seems the first few days you have to just run and hide. You can't see at all uh, uh, well, in the dark. It's too dark. Uh, these zombies take a few shots because your weapons are too weak. And you also have to worry about that bloody tiger over there somewhere. I went onto that ridge and I was like, oh, look at the pretty scenery. And all of a sudden I got a jump scare by a uh, tiger. The tiger itself doesn't look as impressive. It's not uh, like 4K or anything. But it looks nice. It's not bad. And be careful of zombie dogs. I wonder if they've also been reworked to look like something else. Because so far, these things look creepy as hell. Okay, I'll also stay over here instead of there. Because this is a paddy farm or something. So, I'm just guessing there's going to be vultures and stuff in there. I am going to stay away. Thank you. Come on, I need a better weapon as well. Guys, let me know if you guys can see clearly or not. If not, I'll just up the, the graphics a bit. Yeah, if it's too dark, just let me know. And I'll just up the gamma a bit so you guys can see as well. Trying to stay clear though, um... Yeah, there's so many zombies. This is no mad difficulty and I'm struggling to take them down because it, they, that's how tough they are. I wonder if the tigers are also in the village or if it's just outside. I mean, it's wandering. Oh, hello! Oh, hello. Fetch is inside and there's so many zombies. If I can keep crouching without them hearing me, I'm just going to go and break in like last time. I mean, I want to start looting stuff as well, but I need to survive. Another horse. He's going to tell me there's vultures. What's that? Purse. Oh, it seems the fetch is underneath of here. Oh, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Uh, I need some light over here. Oh, there's a snake. That is a snake. 
Hello, horsey. I'll be back. Oh. Waiting for water. So if I give it water, will I be able to uh, ride it? Trying to see what I can loot and can't loot. I need some um, feathers so I can make myself some uh, arrows and stuff. I can make myself bolts or better arrows because at the moment we can, we can make a ton of bamboo arrows. That's not a problem. But the bamboo arrows barely do any damage at all. So we want to have some proper, proper arrows going. And when you're encumbered, look at this, guys. I'm encumbered by one item and I can barely move right now. As soon as you have two or three items, you can't move at all. Run, 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 run. If I aggro something right now, I'm dead. It looks really pretty, although the shadows... They still have to... Uh, seven days to lie has to figure out the shadows. Um, for now... Let's do that. It looks prettier when you can actually see what's going on. Okay, I am too slow to deal with you right now. Run, 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 run. The nice thing is, guys, this thing uses... Uh, this mod uses action skills. So the more you run, the more you jump, the more you up those skills. I was jumping a little bit at the trader earlier and it allowed me to up my parkour skill. Although it's like five skill points just to be able to access the, the workstations and stuff. So that's rather expensive. What's that? It looks like a vulture. So I'm not going to even attempt that with this low speed right now. It looks like a bird over there on the corner with a, uh, with a marker. The uh, what, what do you call this thing in? The cursor is. I should probably try and clear out a massive... Ooh, there's a spider over there. I'm not a fan of how those spiders can gallop at you. Okay, but yeah, if I can clear out a massive POI like this one over here, it's going to take a while, but if I can do that, go safe at nighttime. Then I just need to make myself some more lights and stuff to be able to see when it's dark, and then voila. Okay, these guys seem to have reset because they're not in the area anymore. They're still in there, though. Earlier when I was here, they were running. I'm just really terrified of this um, tiger right now. Earlier I was unlucky enough to run straight into the thing, but it ran off after I did a few da a little bit of damage to it with some arrows. This might be dumb, but I see a bird's nest. Your skill lucky one has increased. I'm guessing lucky one is lucky looter. So the more we loot, the more the Lucky Looter skill goes up as well. So everything is basically um, action-based, action skill-based. Action the more stuff you do in the game, the more your actions go up, and the more your skills and stuff go up as well. If I, I think if I'm not mistaken, you used to be able to invest. Now the problem is this dude. Can't I close that door, please? Cardio training has increased, but I'm so encumbered. I need to try and see if I can't die. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need to see if I can't dump some stuff. I think we can actually also use the well as a storage space. Dude, can't you deal with a zombie inside your place? Okay, now I shouldn't be encumbered anymore, so I should be able to run away. Oh, I didn't actually... Uh, I didn't get any wood. I didn't get wood to be able to repair this because this is about to break. Okay, then I do this. Oh, crap. Mm, a little bit fast. It's starting to get dark as well now, so that's going to be a problem for me. I don't have any mining helmet. One of the trader kicks you out at night. That is going to suck. What are we going to do at night time? The trader is claimed, so I'm guessing he's going to kick you out. I want to see something. Please climb on top. Yeah, jump up. Yep, there you go. He's bleeding on that, guys. That thing is sharp. It's, um, it actually bleeds you. This is a trap. If I stand on this, I lose HP. I'm trying to make sure it can stand on it. Come on. Come on! Let me just do this. Uh, iron, uh, iron arrowheads, I can make more. Before he kicks me out, I don't know what time it is right now. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do you have any jobs? He's gonna kick me out right now because it's night time. Uh, let's put this away. Tiles away. I will keep that. This is... I don't know what that is. Probably see if I can't make myself a cooking fire over here. 
And I need some more stone. I wonder if I can scrap this. And that only gives you wood. I mean, I'm able to repair this now, but still. Um, I need to come and see if I can't make myself some food as well. So when I see bunnies and stuff, I need to try and kill them. Nope. Okay, that is not good. The zombies at nighttime only jog, so it's not that bad. But guys, you've seen how long it takes me to just kill one or two of these zombies. And now we are out here in the... At night time. Let me just see if I can't clear some POIs out. See, iron arrows actually do the damage. Oh! Oh, that gave me a massive fright. Okay, it seems iron arrows are the way to go. If I can get more of these... They actually do some damage to these guys. If I can also get myself like an iron club or something soon, that's going to help as well. Although I think you have to invest in the workbench just to be able to make that stuff. Don't you dare run at me. See, I have a torch on me. I think you can actually place the torch down and claim the place for the night. Although I don't know what I'm going to do for the night because, I mean, the zombies are going to be faster. I'm going to be uh, weaker. Oopsie. Club Master has increased. Okay, more XP. Nice. Guys, I'm playing Nomad difficulty and 200% XP, so we can just check out this mod. This is Nomad. Look how slow I'm killing them right now. That is insane. I see your face. They have the sunshine on it. Oh, that one just broke the arrow. Damn. If I can take over one of these pure eyes over here and just put like spikes and stuff on the outside. Oh, I just realized there's a place next to the trader. If I can clear that out, I might be able to use that as a base right next to the trader. I'm running out of stamina so fast and it's getting dark a lot faster now as well. Can I put this down? You can't put the torch down. Wait, how are you supposed to see them? And I just realized our fire starter is inside over there. This is about to get so much harder, guys, because it's going to get so dark. I left the fire starter at the trader, and that's, uh, if we see lamps and stuff on the inside of the house, now it's going to be fall. No, that is not jogging. That's running. That is not a bloody jog. I set it to jog at night. Crap. Okay, so we are dead. Uh, my bedroll is super... Oh, there's a chicken over there. My bedroll is super far away right now. Okay, yeah, if I can set them alight. I forgot about that. It seems that the fire did... It's either the fire that damaged or he was very low on HP. Come on, die, 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 die. So you might not be able to put it down, but at least the fire works. Oh, that was close. Oh, now I'm hungry as well. Why are you so fast, dude? Guys, so far, it's a lot more challenging, and uh, it looks very, uh, very, very nice. So overall, so far, I give it a uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, only, the only reason I give it a 9 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10, is because of the visuals. It looks very pretty, but it's, it's not crisp. Even the tiger earlier, it looked very, like, um, blurry. But I'm guessing it's going to get fixed with time as well. I have my texture settings and everything to full, so technically that tiger should look nice and crisp. At least we can see where they are because of the fact that I set them alight. Other than that, this is going to take forever to kill them. I'm hoping the torch can't break though. It, it looks like the torch might not be able to break, which is awesome. There you go. Where's this crawler? See, this is not super dark, guys, so I might just have to boost the gamma for you guys. So you can actually see what's going on over here. At least if I have this torch equipped, then you can see. But look how many zombies are going to see me. Ooh. Uh, it's not only, only a UI or overall. It's a complete overall. There's no uh, vanilla items. This is set in, like, ancient Asia. So there's no uh, cars. There's no guns. There's no... It, it's Everything is primitive. Um, so you can actually see there's new trees, new buildings. Uh, everything is just... It looks amazing. 
There are some vanilla things still, like for example, the armor you makes apparently still like vanilla. Because apparently, uh, because of the fun pimps, they weren't allowed to change it. There's a hair in my mouth. Okay, I want to get around to that POI over there, but I have to kill all of these zombies. And I'm just hoping by killing these, we don't accidentally call in... Wait, there's one there, two, three, four... There's like six zombies ahead of us. But let's just see if I can't clear out this POI over here for now. It's a shame I can't put the torch down though. I want to put the torch down so I can actually just use my hands. I hear something. This is creepy as hell. See, at least if you're inside this, um, I think a fire actually looks like this. You can make your own fires and stuff as well. This is black powder, so I'm guessing that's going to make gunpowder later. Whoops. Now, how are we going to spend the night? It feels more... Yeah, and, uh, Sam, you actually get more. You start with four, then you do uh, the beginner quests, you get two more, like the left and the right. Then you do quests, uh, fetch quests and clear quests and stuff for the trader. And the more quests you do for the trader, the more it unlocks your belt. So after the first zombie you kill, it says, oh, because when you start, you only have the four slots. Then when you kill the dude, uh, you have four slots unlocked because he dropped a backpack. And now you can see your backpack, but there's like this, the slots. Then after you do a quest for him, you actually get this and this, although the beginner starter quests. And the more quests you do for him, the more belt space and stuff you get. So with time, it actually gets better and better. Hey, Robert, welcome to the stream. Guys, but I am stuck inside this place now. We can't put the torch down for some reason. I'm just going to see if I do this. I need to be crouched when I'm doing this right now because I don't want anything coming for me. The only problem is it's so dark when I do that. See, there's an empty chest over here. So if we can take over these pure eyes, we might be able to live here. Uh, let's see. Stone arrows. How do you make these, though? Are you kidding me? I can't make them. No, that's... Yeah, arrows exploding, flaming, and steel. This is iron. This is iron. Oh, I need the workbench. Okay, so, yeah. If we have five skill points, we can actually go make ourselves the workbench over here. Unlocks basic workbench. This is for armor. This is for just random stuff. And this is for cooking. So if I want to make... Unlock recipe for basic... Uh, Irori. What is it, Irori? Oh, we have the cooking pot already. Um, I actually need, like, the, the fire. The, it's almost like an, uh, uh, having an oven compared to a cooking fire. But for now, I'm going to go for the workbench. Let's invest there. Guys, just a reminder, I am playing on 200% XP and 200% block damage just to get a little bit further. And this so far is no mad difficulty, but you see how hard it is to kill these zombies. I also want to see, how do you make a torch that you can actually put down? Standing torch. I'm guessing it's one of this stuff. Torch. Ooh, the torches can burn out as well. Oh, I dropped the animal fat at the other place. But yeah, I'm guessing you, yeah, you have to make a torch holder and then put the torch in that. Or you can make a standing torch and you can put it down. So this one over here on me, I can't put it down at all because it doesn't have the holder. Hey, Israel, welcome to the stream. Guys, I have a big problem right now. <laughs> okay, let me just see if I can make some stone arrows at least. I want to make the stone crossbow bolts because we do have that damaged crossbow, but we can't repair it right now. If I can repair it, that's definitely going to be stronger than what I have right now. The bamboo arrows do... Just do this. Um, if, I, if, I have, if I have the iron arrows equipped, I do 25 range damage. If I have the bamboo equipped, I do 9 damage. That's a massive difference. Let's see if I make one stone arrow. What's the difference between that? I hear a zombie outside. 22, not bad. Wait, 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 wait. 22 with a stone arrow. 25 with... Okay, but I think sneak damage is 200% compared to no sneak damage, right? No, it's... What's the difference? Between a stone arrow and an iron arrow, there's like three damage difference, which means I can just make myself a ton of stone arrows. It's already going to take them down way faster than the bamboo arrows. Although the bamboo arrows are super easy to make as well. So it's a trade-off between which one you want to use right now. I can just break a boulder or something, but it's late. 
there's no um, watch in the game, so I don't even know what time it is outside. I wonder if I shouldn't try and stack up. Guys, okay, this is going to be dark. But I need to quickly just break out of here. It almost sounds like the tiger outside. Okay, so unfortunately, yeah, like I said, we can't see what time it is right now. Please don't tell me they can actually make it up here. She is way too enthusiastic right now. It seems like there's something on the roof of there. Is that a vulture or is that like a purse? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I tried jumping just now, but I couldn't jump. My stamina was slow because I'm hungry and thirsty. If I had some Molotovs, I could just use a Molotov or two. That could have been really, really bad just now. Please don't break my frames. Oh, you damaged it, you bugger. Okay, now I'm screwed because I'm up here. What am I supposed to do while I'm up here? Um, can I reach that? Please don't fall down. Yeah, I might be able to stack up and out, but guys, it gets so dark when I put this torch away. So at least so you guys can see as well. Just remind me, uh, as soon as it turns morning, that we have to put this back to 50. Because now if I put this away, at least you can see what's going on. Okay, so we need stone. And we need a lot of uh, uh, planks over here. Basically, we have arrows, we have wood, we just need stone. We can make ourselves some arrows. Uh, there's definitely a quest-driven mod. Yeah, well, in the beginning it is. Um... Why are you guys on fire? Wait, why was he... Why was that chicken on fire just now? Okay, but anyways, um... In the beginning it is because you have to unlock your tool belt. That chicken was on fire and I don't know what set him on fire, so that's kind of bothersome. Or worrisome. Uh, but yeah, just to unlock the first few belt slots, because you, I rem remember you only start with like four. Then you finish the starter quest, you get two more. Then you do quest for the trade and you get even more. So in that regard, yeah, it is uh, quest driven. But until you have that, then all of a sudden it's not that bad. Okay, now I want to see if I can't kill some zombies while we're waiting for morning. Okay, now that is in the way. Guys, this is still the small, like, town. Though. This is this is nowhere. This is nothing. There's massive cities and stuff in the, in the map as well. And I remember, that was awesome exploring them. There's also one where there's a trap that, uh, in a well. I just need to remember that. If that POI is still in the game, I need to be careful of that. Okay, how am I supposed to kill you if I can't see you? I haven't been in this POI yet, so if I could kill the... Ooh, hello! Oh, that's not good. If he stands over there... Oh, that's iron. Okay, cool. If he stands over there, we have a problem. And now he's crawling, so if he manages to crawl into the space over here, we have a big problem. Stand still. I just need your head, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to repair our tool as well. We don't have stone, of course. Why did he die? Did his friend just hit him or did he die from just... Why did he die just now? Okay guys, so the night time is a little bit tough as you guys can see because you don't have any gear yet. Um, you can't throw... I wonder if they are mo... They must be Molotovs, right? Like a... Like a, a old version of it. That dude looks like a ninja. I know he's a samurai, but it looks like a ninja. The dark black clothing he has on and the way he's walking now as well. But if I could just throw a Molotov down here, it would actually do it so much faster. Although imagine it had a Wolf the Walkers fire mod thing where if, you, if something catches fire, it burns completely. I'm going to use up all of my bamboo arrows and you're not getting these back. I should probably just wait until morning and then kill them. But even then, my club is taking damage. We do have a few iron arrows, but we need a workbench for it. If we're lucky, we might actually come across a place that has a working workbench. That is the goal right now. Oh, 
I mean, guys, if you have any thoughts or um, like uh, you, uh, you want them to add some of these mods, um, just give your thoughts and opinions. The link to their public Discord is in the description down below. So, yeah, if you want to communicate with them, give your thoughts, opinions, all that stuff, um, you go to their Discord and talk with them. Oh, you almost made it up. <laughs> that could have been bad if you actually made it up. I just want something early game to be able to kill them a little bit easier. Because, I mean, this is a Nomad difficulty. Oh, crap, he's making up here. This is Nomad difficulty, and look how hard it is for me to kill these dudes. Maybe attacks just went up from action skills. Nice. Okay, food and water is... Ooh, food is really, really low right now. There's a chicken over there that they killed. I wonder if I can sneak away. There's a chicken over there that they killed. If I can go and skin it... No, it seems that they keep track of me very, uh, very long. I thought they might actually lose, um, f a focus on me and then just walk away. But it seems they're feral sense or something right now because they're not getting away. No, they're not leaving me alone. Yeah, all the buildings are Asian themed. This is just a small village, so this is uh, this is not, not really a good example. Um, there's actually massive, massive stone walled cities and stuff like that as well. So it's awesome. Also, guys, the last time I played this, it only had wolves. For those of you that saw the beginning of the stream, you know there are tigers in it as well. As I, uh, I was, I spawned over. Oh yeah, you need to buy maps to be able to check the map out. That's another thing I forgot about. So even though you like you can't see anything at the moment, you have to buy the maps. I spawned, I think, over there somewhere. I went over the ridge. I was like, oh, this looks so pretty. And as I said it, I all of a sudden saw this tiger face in my face. So yeah, barely managed to I, I just just managed to survive. Okay, I'm gonna starve to death up here because they're not forgetting about me. I thought they're supposed to give up on you after a while, but it seems they are not giving up that easily. I wonder when is morning. It seems early game you're gonna have to hide from the zombies a lot. Uh especially since even on nomad difficulty you can't kill them that easily. I might be able to kill one or two of them with a stone arrow or two or some iron arrows. I think as soon as the morning comes, I need to see if I can't get a stone or like a tree and stuff and just make a ton of arrows. Come on. Oh, he died. No, 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 he's not dead. I thought he's dead. It sounded like a death cry just now and he fell forward, but he's awake. He is full of vitality. And now there's more. If I can kill all of these dudes, we're going to get a ton of HP. Oh, no, HP, XP. I don't know why I keep confusing those two these days. Okay, out of iron... Uh, no, out of, out of stone ones. I'm just hoping that the tiger doesn't come back while I'm focusing on these dudes. Imagine this morning, I'm like, oh, okay, uh, we can now just go down and kill them. And as I hit the first dude, all of a sudden, I just feel like a scratch from behind. Your heads are supposed to be your weak points, but why am I not able to kill you? It is a shame though, because apparently um, they're the only ones with uh, this armor in. Even last time, people were actually saying it would be cool if we could wear the same samurai clothing and stuff, but apparently the fun films had a problem with it. I don't know if that problem was fixed or not. But as far as I'm aware, the fun films did not like them uh, adding new armors and stuff. Okay, now you... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Finally, I need... give me another one. Give me another one, come on. Come up here. See, I can't jump down there because they can come, uh, come on the inside, stand there and smack me. I just need to go down there and kill them, but I'm waiting for morning because they're a little bit still fast. And because I'm hungry right now, I am going to die. I need to make another campfire soon and then quickly head back to the trade and just place it down there. Parkour is increased because I'm jumping on the roof like this. I'm gonna die from food, uh, from hunger right now, unfortunately. I have no idea when it turns morning. Because you can't tell time in this mod. It's almost like darkness falls. I think you can actually tell time at the trader itself. I should be able... Okay, now it's morning. We can actually turn the visuals... Well, it's not morning, morning, but I think they're still a bit fast. I'm gonna go see if I can't get that chicken over there. Uh, yeah, we have the bow knife. Please don't tell me there's another zombie over there. I heard a chicken dying. If it despawned, we are screwed right now. Oh, 
No, no. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Okay, they gave up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They gave up on us. It's morning as well. You don't tell me that tiger is over here somewhere. Um, my, oh, my arrow is broken, so I can't even shoot that bunny over there. Oh, crap. I need stone, and now everything. Oh, the vultures. Oh, I thought the vulture forgot about us. I'm so dead. Oh, okay. That saves me. Oh, wait. Where's the tiger? I was about to say that saved me just now because it teleported me away from the trader. But I have no idea where that bloody tiger is. Also, are there also crocodiles and stuff in the game? I have no idea. I think I need a stone pick for this. Oh yeah, this is not working. Uh, let's just go and repair everything. That needs rope. Uh, we need plant fibers to make rope. Okay, so at least we survived, but the vulture is still there, so we have to we have a little bit of a problem there. Uh I want to make myself a pick, stone pickaxe. With that we'll be able to go and just chop this down faster as well. I'm gonna use the torch to kill zombies and stuff because I mean we can set them in lights and they can bleed to death. So we're gonna be testing this out, seeing how well it works, and then we have this one over here for the stone. Guys, we have to do as many quests as possible for the trader right now. The more we do, the more we'll be able to go and... Ooh, we have food. The more quests we do right now, the more we'll be able to go and um, expand our slots. Our tool belt is way too small. I want to see if I can't take over this PR over here next to the trader. It's small and compact. Let's just hope that the trader is already open. I have no idea whether it's open or not, but I'm so hungry. I do not... Oh, come on. Do not care! Outside? Oh no! Dumb zombie. Oh, okay, yeah. Trader's still not open. I wonder when the trade opens though. Oh, crap. I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm gonna die. So let me just quickly make sure I have a bedroll over here. My bedroll's a little bit far away right now. Because we are hungry, we're running out of stamina a lot faster as well, unfortunately. Oh, okay, that does not pick up any, uh, any stuff. Uh, hey beast, welcome to the stream. Please, can I go in already? No! When are we allowed to go inside, though? Um, probably need just one more. I want to make sure if I die that I'm at least safe over here. Uh, Tatami Matt, come on, where are you? Only 25. Forgot that was that much in the beginning. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Nope. Damn, this zombie just does not give up. I'm actually dying from hunger right now because my food is that low. My stamina is also not regening because of my food issue. But seriously, though, when does the trade open, guys? Um. Because it looks light out, but I can't get inside the trade over here. Every time I do, it teleports me away. Nope. Okay, still not a thing. Why? You don't tell me it's bu uh, bugged or something like right, uh, right now. I need to be able to get... Oh, my stamina is low, and I'm gonna die! No stamina, no stamina, no stamina, no stamina, run! No, 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 no. I'm gonna dead. I'm dead. Okay, let me just quickly do this, this, this. Place that down. He's gonna kill me. I don't have any stamina left, guys. This is it. Uh, let's play this before. There's an old playlist. Yeah, it's just this is time is way, way harder. I'm just gonna die now. I can't get inside the trader for some reason, so I'm guessing it's still too early. Guys, this is nomad difficulty. Nomad. This feels like warrior difficulty with how tough the zombies are because all of them are wearing armor. Uh, on my bedroll. 
No, 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 no. That's messed up. Run, 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 run. That's messed up. The fact that he can hit you as you spawn in. Uh, guys, I think my game might be bugged. When does the trader open up? I can't get inside the trader at all. Um, I might just quickly have to go into God mode to see what time it is in game. Because it's completely light out and I can't get inside. Yep, okay, there's something wrong right now, I think. Let me just quickly check, guys, just to make sure. I see there's a ton of errors over here. What time is it right now? Okay, so I'm guessing it opens at 6 then, because it, just, it looks really bright out. I just wanted to make sure, because I know there are a few bugs still in the game, and I can't get in there. Okay, now we are encumbered, so let's just put this over here. At least dying gives you food back, but I don't like dying. The fact that this is just, just Nomad difficulty and we're struggling this much is insane. I wonder what Warrior is like. Last time I played this, I actually played Warrior. But this time around, this almost feels like Warrior. If I can deal with these three and just really get some more stone and stuff. Start getting ourselves some better arrows and better gear. We might actually survive this. You're gonna burn to death. You're gonna burn to death. I wish fire was more brutal like in War of the Walkers. In War of the Walkers, if a zombie set a light like this, they burn fast. I wanna see what it sounds like when the trader finally does open up. I'm guessing it's after six that it opens. My stamina is so low right now. Even in vanilla, if you hit a zombie as, with as many power attacks as I have on Nomad difficulty, they die really fast. So the fact that I've hit them and hit them and hit them and they're just not dying. I mean, they are wearing armor as you guys can see, but still. I think for early game, they need to give the player at least something to deal with the armor. Perhaps like for the first few days, your hits do like double the damage or something like that. Just so you can deal with the armor. I mean, obviously you can just run away, guys, but you need the XP to get skill points. Everything, um, for those who don't know, there is nothing you can buy with skill points. You can't build or buy skills, like a better gear and stuff like that. You can't buy with skill points. Even parkour, which you usually put points into to be able to jump high and stuff, that's action skill based. You have to jump around and stuff to build your parkour. I wonder at what level parkour you can jump two blocks high and stuff, because it says 100 points. The only stuff we can put points into is like workbenches and stuff like that. Okay, so let me just quickly show you guys as soon as we're in the safety of the trade over here. So for those of you new to this mod, look at this. If you go under intelligence, the dragon, it shows you can spend skill points on workstations and stuff. The next workstation is going to cost 7 points. Everything else over here, you can't put any points into. Everything is action skill based. So because I was doing power attacks, I got 1 out of 100. Um, because I did two quests for the trader, I'm the trader's friend. Because I was cutting down stuff, I have one out of 100. So everything in this mod, yeah, this mod is really tough. I don't think it's supposed to be this tough because it's, it's definitely way tougher than I remember it. Last time I did warrior difficulty and even though I did have a ton of wolves and zombies and stuff, I don't feel like I've died. I, I didn't die last time even on warrior. So it feels weird dying on something like this. Okay, we have a quest for you. I need food. I need something I can eat because last time I died almost from, hu from hunger. Torch. No, we don't need a torch. I need food, food. Rice with fish. On 19. I should oh, keep no some food on me. I should probably keep this stuff outside. You know what? Let's go clear out this one POI next door. Because I think you can actually live there at night while you're, while the trader is closed. So if I can at least have a place to store my stuff right now, that's going to help us so much. He's no tiger. I think the tiger actually has healed by now, guys. I used so many bamboo arrows to try and kill that tiger, but I was unable to. There's a snake over here. Oh, and there is a zombie dude. It seems if you have an iron arrow, you can actually do some serious damage to them. 
But you have to also... Uh, it's luck. Uh, all have to do with luck as well. Oh, that is a green snake. That's a green... That's a new snake. What if he's kind of poisonous or something? I have a feeling not to get bit by that snake right now. There you go. Okay. So for the snake... No, no, no. Stamina, 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 stamina. Okay, can I eat this thing? I think I'm kind of stressing right now because I can't, uh, every now and then I have a little bit of split the beer that I have to wipe away. <laughs> Here's how you progress in this mod. Yeah, so far, uh, guys, look at this. I can't move at all. I have two items too much on me. Just two items. The animal skin. One item and I can at least actually move a bit over here. I think this is storage stuff. No, just... Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. So I can drop some stuff over here just to quickly make some space on me. You can even lock your slots over here. I just realized. Nice. Okay, so I need a lot more arrows. Stone arrows. There you go. Most of this stuff, or just some of them... Yeah, look at this one. Bootable. Do not want to hit the drum, hello vulture. Ooh, two vultures. Oh no. No, 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 no. They look really tough. Uh, I don't have a stone arrow equipped. Three arrow, uh, three, 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 three vultures. Hello? Don't you dare go away from me like that. Okay, there's another one. Where's the other one? Okay, three vultures. What are the odds of that? I know you're coming down for me. Come on. Ooh, shot right over him. This is scary as hell. If you miss your shot, you are dead. <laughs> the vulture sound was a little bug just now, so I heard the vulture behind me. I thought, oh no, a fourth one. Always a planned death for testing purposes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Camus, welcome to the stream, dude. Uh, okay, so, uh, where's the other vulture? I killed a third one. Where did I kill it? I need to make sure we grab all of the feathers from it. I like the fact that the trees over here, the sakurai bl uh, blossoms are falling. I don't think these are sakurai trees. It's more pink than purple. But it looks very nice. It's, it's very pretty mod so far. Very eye-pleasing. Although, where's that third? Oh, over here. Hello, hello. Okay, if I put my land claim down over here, the zombies should not respawn, right? Right. As I'm so scared of that tiger right now. I have no idea where it is. And I can't be the only tiger in the area, so I'm just guessing there's more tigers here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's a hay bale from the inside. If I could just give myself a base of operations and then just move into that for now. That is going to help us a lot. I'm going to see if I can't see this tiger from over here somewhere. Imagine I say that and as I say that I grab something that makes me too heavy and I can't run away. And it's right in front of me. The tiger is definitely in this area of here somewhere because I was I was on that ridge. I was like, oh, look how pretty it is. And then right in front of my face. Rawr. Cabbage. Probably gonna do these quests in that nighttime, uh, trying to get my base over here. Okay, but I think there might still be some zombies in here, so I need to be careful. I like the fact that there's windows like this they can open and close as well. But I need to be careful because there are also zombie dogs. Oh, also, guys, these shuriken, watch out, they are sharp. They're like walking over spikes. I need to use my bone arrow way more. So that these zombies um, uh, die from one shot. Like I said, it's action based. So the more you use a bone arrow, the stronger or more powerful it gets. So you want to be able to kill zombies with a bone arrow. Skill wave of attacks has increased. What's wave of attacks? I'm thinking that's flurry of blows. See, everything, everything, everything is skill or oh, action based. So if you want to have your arrows do more damage, just use your arrow a ton. Your, your bow. 
If you want to attack faster, just attack as much as possible, and after a while, it will up. Damn, too low. Nice. But you guys, like I said, these spikes over here are super, super sharp. Do not st uh, step on them. The shuriken are spikes. Definitely 100% confirmed. And it's almost broken. Give me my arrow back. Give me my arrow back. Thank you. So far, I'm actually really liking this more oh, crap. I'm going to get it. Uh, no, I don't want to get that dude's attention as well. Where did I put? Oh, yeah, I put all my stuff as a trader, right? Even the land claims and stuff is at the trader right now. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, wait, there's a little zombie over there. Quiet. Very, very quiet. Problem is, when I do this now, I'm going to be encumbered. Even if it's just by one item, if you're encumbered, you are screwed. So let's just drop some stuff. The nice thing is, it seems this place has a ton of storage. Bombshell, nice. You can make bombs. Yeah, this place has a lot of storage. So this is a perfect place for us to take over as a base. Seems there's one more zombie over there. Do not step on the shuriken, John. It's easy enough to remember. Don't step on the shuriken. And before I realize that I've stepped on it again. <laughs> yeah, that was a rice bowl or something. Rice wine. Drum, do not hit the drum, it actually calls zombies. It's like in Apocalypse Now, where you eat the brown candy and you fart, and it actually calls zombies closer. It's basically the same thing. Okay, we just need stone. Look at the amount of arrows we have. Stone, and we need to chop down one tree. Then we can make a ton of arrows. The zombie laying right there. There's a lot of drop the arrows. Oh crap, there's a zombie behind us as well. Um, I might have to fight both of them at the same time. Because I don't want to close the door. This needs to be my place. So if I close the door right now, it's going to break the door. Nice. Okay, nice. I, I think I did too much damage from him with the arrow. He died super easy just now. I need to save my stamina for if the aggro. Because when the aggro, wooden club skill has increased. When the aggro, they're a lot faster than me. So when you can just break their hit... It helps a lot. Just before he hits you, hit him and he'll break himself. Come on, 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 come on. There you go. There you go. Nice. Oh, you'll basically see what you guys are saying. Loot is very scarce, huh? Eh, only at the beginning. Tigers are territorial in real life, so are highly unlikely to move more than one close by. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of overalls are progression based now. The more you do something, the better you get at it, which actually makes sense. Yeah, the problem is, Alpha 21, you have to read books, not do skills. And Darkest Falls, you read books and you, um... There's a zombie over here. Uh, in Darkest Falls, you can read books or you can, um... Uh, do action skills. You, you actually get action skill books. So you do do stuff to level up, but you can also read it. But over here in this mod, uh, like in uh, Alpha 21, it's only going to be um, reading based. No, no, no. Come on, I want this place. With the amount of loot containers over there, these uh, sandbags can hold loot. And we can't make any storages right now. That's definitely going to help us. Um, come on. Come on, burn. I need you to burn, please. Oh, nice. I, was, <laughs> I wanted him to get set alight so we can kill him faster, but hey, that's also a way to do it. Ah, oh, I thought I might be able to sneak attack him. I think my brother would be a fan of this kind of uh, zombie game. Although he's uh, he doesn't like zombie games where the zombies break uh, concrete and stuff. Basically, he's saying that I... <laughs> the zombies are so powerful they can break through concrete, which doesn't make sense because they're rotting flesh. Although, if they can make it, li like, biome-based, the desert biome zombies are super, super weak. Um, or that they might be mutated and big, for example. And the snow biome zombies are harder and stronger because they're frozen. That'd be kind of cool. Wasteland zombies are all radiated and have, like, special effects and stuff. It could be really cool, the potential. Oopsie. Hello, snakey snake. 
Oh wow, you are still alive after that. I heard something falling. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, so we can go use our shovel and we can actually uh, break all of this stuff up with a shovel. Seems you can't pick these up, unfortunately. I thought we might be able to use some cooking pots over here, but it does not look to be the case. Ooh, hello, storage chest. So if I come with my shovel and just quickly break apart the hay bales over here, we'll be able to use some of this stuff. I just need to chop down one tree and then uh, one boulder and we should have enough arrows to help us. Candle holder. Um, I'm guessing we have to put a candle in there or just use the fire starter to light it. There's so many new things in the game that I have to now get used to as well, but so far it's fun. It's nice. Yeah, how do I get in over here? If I'm not mistaken, if you break this, you get some ores and stuff out of it. But out of respect, I'm not going to break that right now. Use bowl with just... What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really, really cool. You can interact with the stuff in the game as well. Oh, storage box. Big. Nice. That is a game changer. I'm going to put all my stuff in here. Paint. We don't need paint. Soy. I think you can eat the soy. How's my food and water? It's fine for now. Okay, if I can just really chop down a boulder or a tree, I can make a ton of arrows. Then we can get rid of the bamboo ones. They're a little bit weak for my taste right now. Although we need to go do some quests for the trader as well. The sooner we do it... Just really do something over here. The sooner we do that, the better for us. Because we want to make sure that we progress and get a bigger backpack. Oh, a bigger tool belt. The more quests you do for the trader, the more tool belt you get. I want to test something quickly. I wonder if there's already a candle in there. Now I just need the fire starter to light it. Okay, so all of the stuff's looted. Let's quickly go grab the stuff at the trader as well. Ooh. Emma, don't dodge it. I spooked it. I don't I want to make sure not to accidentally waste my stone arrows right now and just stuff like that. Okay, you have my loot over here. We already have a quest for you. That's not good. That is bad. We are so encumbered right now. I'm going to have to drop a few things, drop it in the box, and then come back for it. Um... Okay, let's take over what we don't need right now. We are gonna need, uh, we are, well, we might use that later, but we're not gonna need that right now. All the stuff we're just gonna dump immediately in the other container. Uh, all the stuff we're gonna use, and that is a fire starter. I'm not sure what those fragments, wait, what is this? Oh, it's a cooking fire. No, wait, no, it's not. Raise your empty, um, uh, no, it's not. You can put fuel in. I thought it might be a cooking fire because it sounds like one. <laughs> you need to be careful not to step on that stuff. Okay, just dump everything over here. I'm going to put this down so the zombies don't respawn, but I'll put that right at the back of here. Or perhaps in the roof now. I'm just afraid it's going to fall over there. Where can I put this? Oh, it might be too close to the trader. I'm going to have to place it outside because it's too close to the trader right now. Okay, so yeah, we'll place this one down. For an arrow we have still on us. We have to look at the red lines on the on the corner of the screen over there. There's red lines for the land claim. As soon as that turns white, it means we can place a land claim. There you go. Okay, so hopefully that means this is our base and the zombies won't respawn. I can also go and pick this up and put it back down, and now this should be our place. Okay, at least we have a ton of storage, so that's going to help us a lot. Uh, I think I dropped the shovel over here. No, I didn't pick it up, did I? Uh, with the shovel, we can come and pick these hay bales up and just make a little bit more space as well. Hopefully with the bedroll down, with the land claim down, we won't have any zombies respawning over here. I mean, that's going to be a fun night time. <laughs> All of a sudden, just having them respawn on us. 
Okay, now we just need our stuff and we need to go do some quests as well. Yeah, so far, I'm actually really enjoying it. For those of you wondering, this should go live for everyone on like Monday. Although they might want to just be, uh, make a few tweaks and just sort a few bugs out and then they'll do it. Um, but yeah, it should be very, very, very soon that everyone can actually also play this. I wonder if I shouldn't at night time. Well, at night time, we'll go for that boulder over there. And then I don't think we can go for this tree, right? No. That's kind of still trader ground, so that makes me worried right now. If that still counts as trader ground, does that mean my base is also half trader? That should also mean zombies shouldn't be able to spawn inside it because of the trader effect. Although in between my claim and the trader's claim, the zombies might spawn and that, so that's going to be a problem. Oh wow, yeah, we're going to have to work on our stamina and stuff a bit more. But the only way to get that up is by using this tool. So hopefully at night time you're kind of safe over here. It's not going to be too dangerous. Every now and then guys, I see in the corner of my eye something on the screen, but it's just these dragon heads. There's a dragon head to the right and to the left of you, and every now and then I think, oh, zombie. Okay, so with this shovel... Wait, what? Um, you're supposed to be able to use a shovel on this, but for some reason, you have to use the axe. I've always, always, always just used the shovel on these because that's what you usually use for them. Uh, for them. Okay, let me just please also see what are these... Wait, this is going to give us wood. I need to actually see what these... Um, notes are it just says small parts of a weapon or tool you can use uh, this for writing recipe or improvement books so i'm guessing you can make books yeah you can make basic books and stuff i'm guessing this is also how you unlock this is schematics this is how you make schematics for yourself okay so the bamboo arrow is going to be useless i'll drop that for now shovel we're not going to use uh bark we're not going to use but we're going to need the wood this and stone so as we're running we need to pick up stone and the more stone we have, one, two, three, four, five, six. The more stone we have, the more we'll be able to go and make ourselves more arrows. We need, really, 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 really need stone arrows right now. Stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still. That's bad shots. Okay, yeah, I won't be able to kill them right now. So let's go for this quest. And on my way there, I just need to pick up all these stones. It's, I think that's going to be better for my stamina, just picking up stones. Rather than going for a boulder right now, because my my stamina and everything is too low to chop a boulder. Yeah, basically it's uh, it's ancient blueprints. Yeah, I can just get. I think from the bigger boulders we might actually get more stone. I need to test that theory. Because you pick up small ones like this just to make yourself some arrows is going to take a while. Although that's already nine more just like that. So this one we did not cloud right. No, we did. Okay, yeah. Almost forgot about this. So we were inside of a year. We were not inside of a year because we had to run away. We had one fetch quest of year. That's about it. One fetch quest and then the zombies were also feral for some reason right from the start. Can you? You can't even power attack with this. This is just to set them alight and to help you out a little bit. You have to use an actual club to go and do that. Nice, 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 nice. I need to work on my stamina though, because my stamina is super, super, super low. I heard another uh, zombie sleeping over here, so you need to be careful. Oh, okay. Um, I think they might be feral, because when I did a fetch quest over here, it looked like they were running. They might be wrong. My arrows are breaking on his face, so that means you can't get the arrow back, unfortunately. See, primitive bow skill, uh, skill increase. That's because I've been shooting him a lot. Two arrows, thank you. Every time I see a leaf or something fall in distance, I think it's a zombie. This game has me so paranoid right now. I haven't even seen a zombie dog yet, so that kind of scares me. Nice. Okay, see, we had a fetch quest over here earlier. So I just broke the block underneath by their feet, but these two looked like they were running. That's why I was so terrified just now. Not going to take a chance with them and then have them be like insanely tough or something. We have to do as many quests for the trader right now as possible because that's the only way we're going to get our tool belt bigger. So let's just go and see if we can't get this done before it gets nighttime again. 
They have something similar to that in one of the vanilla alphas, where if you want to progress a tool weapon, you had to build a lot of them. Yeah, it's real. That actually used to be how you did it. In alpha like 9 to 13, 14, you had to build as many stone axes as possible to increase their level. So basically, the more you made and the more you use them, the better quality you could make. It makes sense because the more of something you make in real life, the better you get at it. But uh, yeah, people were spam crafting stuff and uh, causing lag on servers, so the fun pumps took it out. People were misusing the, the ability to do it because it was super cheap to make stone axes, for example. So day seven, you can already have like a max stone axe and stuff already. Um, and the fun pumps like, no, 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 it's too easy. Okay, I wonder if I can hit that dude with an arrow from over here. Some sneak damage. Hidden strike has increased. So the more I hit them without them realizing I'm here, the more that also goes up. What is that? Oh, that's a cabbage. Earlier I thought that was a vulture. I mean, you can't... Bl oh, I shot him in the, arrow in the knee. I thought I shot him in the face, but uh, just now the arrow came out of his knee. But earlier when I walked past it, it almost looked like a vulture to me. These fields are full of crops and stuff that we can come pick up. Oh, that's... Yeah, I thought that was a vulture. That's just a cabbage. I'm getting more used to killing them now, but it's still tough. If we don't do at least one sneak attack, it takes forever to kill them. And we have to be careful of the snakes as well. Okay, he just hurt us. And he... Uh, oh, damn. Snake over there. Zombie of... Oh, this place is full of zombies. Look at that. One, two, three, four... It seems my quest is on this PI as well, so I am so screwed right now. If that is it, yeah, it's a clear quest. Ooh, I'm gonna kill a ton of zombies now. Okay, be careful of that tiger, just in case he comes into the village. I think in the old days, tigers also came to villages, uh, villages intact, right? If that's the case, we might just get a tiger now, while we're facing these dudes. That's gonna be terrifying. Stamina, stamina, stamina. I think the way you get your stamina up as well is just by swinging the club as much as possible. Action based. So it's like Darkness Falls. The more you use something, the less stamina you use for it. Food and water is going down fast because of my stamina. I remember some of these smaller sheds and stuff had zombie dogs in last time, so I really don't want to get too close to one now. I'm already having trouble with the vultures, and I've also got a zombie dog. That might be a little bit too tough. That was close. Hello. See, every time I see a small stone right now, I'm just gonna pick it up. Because we need to make as many arrows as possible, so if I can just do this, and every now and then make more. Um, you probably increase quality with points, but skills in a weapon increase. They'll be crafting level ones, but you be using it better. Yeah, at the moment, basically, you can't invest any skill points at all no matter what you go for so you have to read books to be able to get recipes and stuff and i think you can actually make these books with those other torn papers i'm guessing you might also be able to loot them and be able to uh, make better stuff that way but i think that's gonna be a little bit further down the line it almost feels like this mod is way more grindy which i mean i'm all for uh, the more grindy a mod is the, the longer you have to play it if you finish the mod in one, like, one sitting, that's not fun at all. Ooh, hello. There's a zombie at the back over there. Oh no, that's not a zombie, that's a horse. Hello, horsey. It says waiting for water. Momiji is waiting for water. So if I feed Momiji over your water, it's going to become my horse. Yep, that's a snake. Do not want to get snake poisoning or uh, poison by a snake right now, so I need to be careful. But I do need the meat. Okay, I need to see though, uh, what do I need? Oh, see, What do I need? I'm guessing, I wonder if we can eat those. I <laughs> know that's a messed up thing to ask. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have meat early game. How do you make water? Do you make a saddle or something? How do you feed it water? I'm guessing that's how you get a horse. That's how you get a vehicle in the game. You get horses now. Uh, last time I played this, guys, you had to run the whole way across the map. There were no horses or any animals that could carry you or anything like that. 
Come on, stay away. If you're going to have me miss you, then at least stay away so I don't have to waste arrows and stuff. Okay, so we have to clear this place out. Let's see if there's any windows over here. What is that? Just a ton of zombies. Just a ton. Oh, no, he's coming this way. Group of tigers. Could be a tiger family. That's why I'm actually kind of worried right now. Because <laughs> I know that tigers can also go for these uh, small villages. And we did have a uh, tiger earlier, so... Ooh, are you kidding me right now? My poor core skills didn't creature. Oh, crap. I can't deal with you right now, lady. If that dog sees me... Please tell me she's dead. No, she's not dead. I can't even... Get away from here right now, because if I do, I'm going to fail the quest. That's so messed up. I can't do anything right now. If I get too close to that door, the, the dog's going to wake up. Crap. Okay, she's dead. I think bleed damage works really well on them, but you run out of stamina. Come on, more, 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 more zombies. If I can just quickly snipe that dog over there. Come on. The sheer amount of zombies makes this game so d uh, difficult. With well, this mod, I mean. I'm gonna call the zombies at the back over there as well at this uh, rate. No stamina. No, that is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Are you kidding me? Now a samurai joined as well. And I think he has way more armor than these dudes. They look like they have some leather armor. He has some iron armor. And it's getting late as well, so we need to get back to the base. Stamina is super low. I feel like the toughness of the zombies early game is a little bit much, especially... Like I said, this is no mad difficult and I've already died. Because you're running out of stamina, you can barely do any damage to these dudes. Yeah, hit your friend, hit your friend, hit your... No, not me. Hit each other, please. There you go. Nope. And be careful, if you aim down the site, you actually lose stamina. Crap. If you aim down the side, you can actually lose stamina, so you have to be careful when you use the, the bow and arrow. If he aggroes right now, I'm screwed. Come on. I need to be able to kill that zombie dog quickly before more zombies and stuff come right now. Otherwise, the dog's going to get me from behind. Wooden club skill has increased, so die already. Thank you. Okay. You saw me I can kill this dog without breaking me. There you go. Okay, not bad, not bad. You are not part of this place now. Why do I have to kill you now? Stay away, man. At least my heavy attacks and my club attacks are getting heavier and better. Because I'm constantly using... Oh, I thought that was another dog. I'm constantly using uh, these skills. That's why they're getting better and better and better. And I'm killing more and more and more and more and more and more. Ooh, stamina. Can you tell me there's another dog in there? It used to be... Uh, there was one alpha where if you ran into a zombie... While he did a power attack, it would knock them down more. And now we have a spider zombie. Yay! Guys, this thing can gallop like a horse. It is really creepy to watch. My arrow's back, thank you. Nice. Okay, it's getting dark again, so I need to clear this place out before I can't see anymore. He's dead, right? The sheer amount of zombies from the outside interfering the whole time really is bad.
If this is just a clear quest. So I don't have to loot the whole place, but I do want to loot. But the problem is the more you loot, the more encumbered you are. Nope. Stand still, stand still, stand still. Here you go. I wonder how many quests you have to do for the trader before he gives you a bigger tool belt. Because the stuff you have on your tool belt makes sure that you don't have to be in that encumbered. If you are encumbered and you can put the stuff in your tool belt, you're not encumbered anymore. For those of you that don't know. Red dots. It seems there are zombies upstairs, but they might also be to the left of here. Nice. It looks like there might be armors and schematics and stuff over here. If I could just loot all of the stuff and then throw it in one chest over here to make some space. What is this? Oh, uh, I think this is um, Knuckles. Okay, we need to keep the knife on us. Drop that. Green tea. We can drink. That's going to give us a lot of water. 34 water. Not bad. Please, give me some food. There might be another dog upstairs, so I need to be careful of that right now. I think these are the bookcases. No, they actually, as you say, bookcases. These, this was just dishes. Unfortunately, I can't shoot through the bars over there. Otherwise, I'll be able to shoot him in the head. Oh, I can shoot through. Nice. That was sneak damage just now. Lucky one. So my lucky looter skill just went up as well. Oh crap. Um need to drop this. Kimchi will eat quickly. Oh uh, come on, move, 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 move. Oh, it's still crouched. That's why I'm so slow. He's dead, right? Nice. I forgot that if I loot too much stuff, I'm too heavy. Oh crap. You know what, if I just move around him like this. <laughs> yeah, just stay there. Just stay there. I mean, I'm not going to get anywhere if I just keep dodging like this. Broken glass we can get rid of for now. This is a lost zombie, then we can loot upstairs. Whoopsie. I need an iron club. Like a tetsible club or something. At the moment, we had a broken... We have a broken one, but it broke. Like a damaged one, but it broke all the way, unfortunately. Repair kit. Nice. I don't know what we use that for, but I have a repair kit now. Animal skin, might be able to use it later. Beeswax. It says return to trader, so there should be no zombies left. Although in vanilla it says sometimes no zombies left, and all of a sudden there's a ton of zombies left. Guys, always look for these over here, these uh what do you these partitions. Because sometimes they have all of the chests and stuff, the amazing loot at the back behind them. There might still be a vulture or something over here. I need to be careful. Okay, so this place had no final loot or anything. That sucks. I was actually really hoping that the top floor over here might have some really good loot for us. The window. I want to see if there's no extra, like, door or something over here that's hidden. That doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Doesn't look like there's anything underneath the bed. So, yeah, that's the only loot in this place. Double bed. Double bunk bed. It's actually kind of cool. Okay, so, um, ooh, my space. Let's take the paper and this with us. I don't know if you're going to need this stuff. That's why I'm not leaving it for now. Um, what am I wearing right now? Padded. But yeah, it's going to take my mobility away if I actually do that. So we could go and just scrap this one then. I need more space. But the problem is we are so encumbered over here. Um, oh, I can make more arrows and then we have one more slot on us. If I'm just encumbered by one item, I'm slow, but not deadly slow. I can still get away from them if I really needed to. Yeah. I, I, guys, like I said, this game is aesthetically pleasing and everything. It's just like uh, that. It feels like it's a little bit um, not crisp, not clear. This uh, map is a 2K map. So I don't know if that means like it's 2K textures or 2K wide. But uh, when you load up the map, it shows that the map's only 4K map. So I don't know what that meant. There's a lot of stuff over here. Um, I don't know what that 2k thing meant, but uh, so far the tiger was a little bit low res. Some of the trees, if you look really close, are low res. Other than that, it's beautiful, it's awesome, and I'm loving it. 
I'm just gonna have to get back to the trader before it's night time. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, we haven't been here yet. I, I was so used to looting the other side that we haven't looted this side yet. Okay, now the problem is we are getting oh two items too much. Yeah, I could just do this. Now I can move again. Every time I pick up a stone, I have to make an arrow. And then I'm stuck a bit, and then I can run a bit. So it takes a while to register that you're moving at the moment. Which could be really, really dangerous if you get attacked by, like, a wolf or a tiger or something. But I need to loot these just in case we get something really, really cool. Um, the heavy armor does work better when it comes to, like, getting hit by zombies. But in mobility terms, like me already not being able to move and stuff. Um, I'm thinking of like the padded armor. You can actually just dodge them, bob and weave and stuff. If I had the heavy armor, I wouldn't be able to move as much. And I'd be get hit way, way, way more. So me doing this right now, wearing the light armor, allows me to move and then just hit them easier. It is about to close. Firebomb. Another Tanto that's damaged, but we, don't, we can't use that thing anyways. Motivational. Uh, okay, I almost... I think I almost got it right. Okay, um... um, 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 um. I need space right now. I'm afraid... I almost dropped the, the bomb. But I was afraid that if I dropped it just now, it might explode on me. So that's why I tried not to do it. Rope we need. Okay, so cannibal, that is for a weapon, uh, a club with spikes on it. Um, what else can I drop in here? Repair kit and animal fat. Okay, I'm encumbered by one item, that's not bad. Let's see if we can't quickly get to our base over here. We got a new quest, so we can do that at night time. But as you guys saw during the last night time, it gets really, really dangerous out here. And it's not like we don't have, uh, have a place protected over here. I need to make spikes and stuff. If I could just make myself a way to get onto the roof, we should be at least safe during nighttime. Probably close these window. You can't. I thought you might be able to close this window over here, but there's no window option. Okay, so let's just see over here. The fire bombs, what do they do? 250. So this is basically like a bomb. Hmm, I wonder if I shouldn't try using this. <laughs> we get overrun by zombies way too easily. So if I use that, we should be safe. I need some ropes at the moment as well. Basically, repair everything that needs repairs. And then we can go from there. This requires wood. That requires a piece of stone. But we're going to go chop a boulder quickly to make more arrows. I'm going to have to turn the lights up again so you guys can see at night time. And then I need to use more stone to also make ourselves like a cooking fire. Soy, we can eat the soy. It only gives you 2 HP though, so it's not great. At least we do have... I thought, yeah, we have rice and fish over here as well if we need to eat. Let us just eat it now. But I want to run out of food later and regret not eating it then. Okay, I think we have to do a few more quests for the trader and then finally we'll be able to carry more as well. But first things first, I need this boulder. I'm getting very little stone for this, so I wonder if you get more stone for going for the big boulders, that one over there, or more for this one. I need to worry about my, uh, about my stamina as well, because that's running out fast too. As if I can have like a hundred and something arrows, I'll be able to at least defend myself from more... Say we get another uh, one of those tigers. It's a shame I couldn't kill the tiger earlier, because I think I would have gotten a ton of meat from it as well. I suddenly get used to my beard. It's getting so long right now, it's curling into my mouth. This is the longest my beard has ever been. It's actually getting so long that it's standing out to the side. So I should probably go to a barber tomorrow and let them just adjust or fix it a little bit. Just trim it a bit. Shape it. Come on. Come on, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna make one cooking fire, campfire. And then, yeah, we at least have the bomb now. So if we get overrun by zombies, we have to make sure they're all in one position and then just throw it at them like that. Every single stone we run past, we have to pick up as well so we can make ourselves even more arrows. Wait, what am I short on? Oh, now we're short on feathers. 
I actually ran out of feathers just now. Oh, these are dual doors. Nice. That's that's really cool. So now the zombies can only get through one spot over here, but I need to put a campfire down. Okay, I want to try this lighter thing to see if I can actually light torches here or not. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, I need a candle. Okay, so you have to have a candle in your inventory. And then you right click on this. Two shots. That is really, really cool. And I'm guessing it stays on now until it dies down perhaps a little bit later. But for now we have light. Is there another light source? Yeah, there's over here. Uh, I need more candles. Oh, wait, you have candle. Uh, can you not light this one? Trying to right click and left click and stuff, but it's not working. I'm guessing this one you can't do. But what's the difference between the two? That's a candle holder. And that's the candle holder, so why can't you light that one? Okay, so at night time, we are going to have some fun. Let me just drop stuff that we don't need. Beeswax. What is this for? Oh, okay, so this is basically like uh, uh, basic cells and stuff, yeah. So you make this. You need some Corridalis and clay jugs, and you can actually make yourself some uh, medicine. Okay, so for now, we're just going to do that then. We're going to keep this, this. I think you need two, uh, yeah, two feathers per arrow, which is really expensive. But that's why we can't make any more right now. We can put this away. Wait, why do I have another campfire on me? Did I make two campfires by mistake, or did I only make the one? Why do I have two? That's bothering me. I, I can't remember making two like that. Okay, anyways, um, we don't have any more arrows and stuff right now. Uh, let me see if anything stacks. Nope. And then... What can I put away? Let's put this thing away for now, the pick. I want to make sure I have the bombs on me, just in case I need to throw it at a zombie or two. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you see any bird's nest that I miss, I have looted a few, though, so that's a problem. Oh, I'm going to get close to that tiger now as well. I think the tiger was over this ridge over here. Let me just check. Hello? Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. What's that? It's just wood, right? Yeah. Let me just give you guys some light now because it's getting dark again. I wonder if there's a way to make like a mining helmet or something like that. Uh, I know, I mean, there's no mining helmets in this time period. But just some sign, uh, kind of uh, light source we can actually see as well. At the moment, unfortunately, it's, it's so dark at night, you can't see anything. You can't put the torches down either. Which makes it very, very hard to be able to see at night. Because you have to switch your weapon and your stuff the whole time. Just to be able to fight, you have to switch away from the light source. Oh, hello. You can actually put some fuel in here and have some light. See, this is the torch we can put down. We can put down standing torches. Okay, I just got feathers. I just got fe- Ooh, where, weren't there three of these, yeah? I just got feathers, but at what cost? I thought there were three of them over here. Earlier, I had to run away from it, and then I had to duck and dive. So there's still, I think, three, um, well, two more of them over here. I need to get this wood as well. For now, we'll just leave the wood. Yep, 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 yep. Sneak attack. There you go, fall down, thank you. You beauty. Nice, okay. So, it's, it's a good thing I ran away from this area earlier because I knew there were vultures over here now. And I'm just glad they slide off, I don't have to go fetch them. Do 
to be careful. Oh, so careful. The lady zombie over there. The male zombie at the back over there. There's so many zombies walking around again. There's one over there. I don't know if you guys can actually see the zombies as well as I can right now, but I, I can tell you there's a lot of zombies around us. There's a female zombie right there. There's a male zombie to that side over there. If you're just standing still over here, you can actually see in the brush, uh, brushes over there, there's a ton of zombies moving around. This is a retrieve quest, so I don't have to kill all the zombies. Crouchy, crouchy, crouchy. How do you go for that water source over there? Nope. A zombie on the ridge over there. It seems the fetch is in exactly the same position every time. Okay, now we have the loot. If I can make enough noise, we can use the bomb of ENC if we can't kill a ton of zombies at the same time. I wonder if I shouldn't try and lure them all together. Yep, they just woke up. I need to be careful, ferals run. These guys jog at the moment, but ferals can run. Ooh! That scared the sh almost hit the shit out of me. <laughs> that scared the cr uh, crap out of me. Just no again. I want to loot that bird's nest. The spider over here is creepy as hell, man. Hello, 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 hello. Ooh, two of you guys. I'm gonna get as many of them as possible in one area. And also, open up this house over here and let all the zombies come. But if there's a dog or something, we might have a problem. Yep, hello, hello. At least we already got the fetch quest, so that's fine. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, Did I just... Oh, that's a crawler. Oh, no, there's a vulture somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is! There it is! Okay, so first things first, before we deal with the uh, zombies... There you go. Another one! Ah, uh, run! I'm gonna kill all the zombies with a bomb, but I first have to deal with the vultures. Damn, I missed! That's not good! See, these vultures are OP as hell, so if they hit you... Crap, I want the, the feathers on that vulture. Third one. They come in threes! <gasps> Ooh, that was close. Crap. Come on! I'm wasting all my precious arrows right now. Oh, there you go. Oh, stamina's out. Stamina's out. I need these feathers because, I mean, we're going to need more arrows later. Another one. What? Nice. It's awesome when I can one-shot kill them. Okay, so where are all those zombies now? Ah, come on, stamina, 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 stamina. Ah, uh -huh, stamina, stamina, <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Where are all these zombies? Come on. Probably see if I can't pick up all of it because we will need the feathers later. Come on, don't miss. I'm so low on stamina already. We can't afford to miss right now. Okay, so yeah, vultures are a huge problem, but it seems like we can kind of deal with them. I need all of you to follow me, please. There you go. Hello. Yeah, where's that crawler? It's oh, there you go. Hello, spider. Hello, hello, spider. Oh, there's a few zombies still asleep over here, so if I, I can actually go and wake them up. The problem is, the more zombies we wake up right now, the worse this is gonna get. If I throw a bomb between all of them, I'll be able to kill them hopefully with one shot. 
But if there's more vultures, we oh have a big problem. Hello. See, since we don't have monotiles, we have to be creative. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. There are so many zombies of look at this. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. If any of them are feral, they're screwed. I need to keep an eye on my, my stamina right now. Look at all the zombies. This place is crawling. Hello. It seems like that is a paddy, a rice paddy farm over there. I wonder if you just throw it or if you should, uh, if you should light. It's already lit, right? Oh, it's a Molotov. Yes, it's a Molotov. I thought it's a bomb bomb. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, crap. Did another vulture? I just heard the squawking or the squealing of another vulture. Oh, crap. That was a crawler. Like I said, oh, burning to death, but very slowly. Oopsie. Probably walk this way so I can walk to the fire over there. The amount of zombies over here is just sheer craziness. This is insane. Okay, they're dying at least. They're dying. They're dying. Yes. They're also hitting each other when you're standing behind each other like this. So the one behind him just hit him trying to get to me. Whoops, that's a little bit bad. A little bit, little bit bad. Okay, if I can get more zombies over here. My parkour at least. Oh, crap. Ugh. I took my hand off the mouse just now. Uh, at least my parkour skill is getting higher as well, which is good because I'm running the whole time. But my stamina is not looking good. And my health is really low as well. I'm actually hoping that there's no vultures left over here. The vultures are basically the only things that can really kill me right now. If I can stack up against next to a tree or something, and then throw the Molotov, we'll be able to kill so many more. Oh, look at this! What is this place? You've seen how tough it is to kill some of these zombies, and look how many there are. Come on, whoopsie, you almost hit me as you stood up. That's no good. That's not good. That's not nice. This is a huge, 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 huge farm. You almost also hit me just now. Oh, there's a vulture. Ah, oh, there's multiple vultures. Crap, 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 crap in a basket. Oh, there's, there's multiple again. Come on, vultures. So the problem is to deal with them and the zombies at the same time is kind of tough. They're there. Yep, coming down at me again. If I can just kill them, we can actually get all the feathers and make ourselves some more, uh, more arrows. Oh, I can be lucky right now. It doesn't look like there's more around me. Arrow back, thank you. This one, I, I just got three arrows back from, so this was a very tough vulture. Yeah, I need to be careful, my stamina is running out. I'm gonna get as many zombies in the one spot as I can. Hello. Okay, there's more over here and more over there. There's a sheer amount of zombies so far in this mod. And, ooh, crap. Oh, I just backed up into that. That was, <laughs> that was bad. My health is so low right now. But yeah, like I said, the sheer amount of zombies is just mind boggling. Look at, I, I mean, I love the fact that it's so challenging. But at the same time, it might be a little bit too much. Just, just a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, more wings flapping. I want to throw a Molotov over here, but I'm afraid that the water might set it out. Damn, look at all these zombies. Nope. Oops, see that one came out of nowhere. Come on, come on, come on. Circle, stay together. Follow the leader. Stay in a line. Come on, class, let's go. Hey, Ann, so far I'm enjoying this mod, dude. <laughs> 
But I have died. It's Nomad difficulty and I've already died. So it's a little bit tough. Especially with all the zombies wearing armors and stuff. But damn. Look at all the zombies over here now. At least I got that firebomb so I can make... Just, I can throw the Molotov and just burn them to death. But I want to save it. I don't want to waste all of them. So I need to be careful with how I use this right now. See, the thing is, I could stack up against a tree and throw one down at them. But... Oh, I stack in the middle and throw one down, but that's not going to work. Whoopsie. Yeah, all of them are walking through the fire. That's good. I'm hoping this works like a normal Molotov, where if they walk through the fire, they get set alight. So dark. Yeah, Flip, unfortunately, this, this is on Gamma all the way up, I think. It's a little bit dark at night, if you're not wearing, like, glasses and stuff. Uh, and the zombies are fast. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, maximum stamina reduced because I'm hungry. That's no good. That is... Look at all the corpses over here. <laughs> and the vultures. At least we can run and uh, shoot them with a bow and arrow. But if we didn't have the stone arrows, guys, we would die from the vultures ten times over. I need to unlock my bigger belt sooner with the trader. Um, otherwise, I might have a problem. Be careful from behind as well. I keep running in a circle, but just now something hits me from behind. Hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. I need to be careful. If As soon as I hear wings flapping, I know there's more vultures. Come on. Ooh, that was close. That scared the crap out of me just now. See, if we run out of stamina. So far, guys, I have this... Uh, for those of you wondering, my settings are Nomad. And they jog at night. If we were playing a run at night, I'd be dead so many times over right now. Come on, they're a little bit faster than their friends. So unfortunately, that ends up missing them sometimes. It's a shame you can't put your torch down, but it makes sense. You just have to use these things over here to make- Oh, wait, yeah, 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 I can actually make some light for you guys. I just have to wait for the zombies to stop running because they're mad at me right now. If I light those torches, we'll be able to see at night. There's torches all over here, so I just need to put like one wood in there and it's gonna give us some light over here. I wonder how much light those things do give though. I don't want to waste my last uh, Molotov right now, but there are so many zombies. Oh, no. Stamina's too low. Stamina's too low. And she is here. She's one of the tougher zombies. If I remember correctly, she's one of like the generals in the game. Woo! See, now we have some light over here. If I keep doing this, we'll be able to see around the place. Although it actually like a time on it, so you can't burn too long. We just broke. Oh, they just dropped down the tree, I think. I might just have to use my last Molotov because these general ladies are tough. The actual generals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the name above their head because that would break the immersion. But it would be nice to be able to tell which zombie is which. I'm going to have to use my last firebomb. Can you believe it? How many zombies have I killed so far? I've at least killed 50, right? It has to be at least 50. There you go. There you go. Okay, so now that was the last firebomb. I have to kill anything that comes to me now manually. Okay, I need to be careful not to encumber myself. Oh, you are fast. You are sprinting. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, wow. Look how fast these guys are. I mean, I know they're mad. They were just set alight, but still, damn. Stamina, 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 stamina. The problem is I'm so hungry and thirsty right now. My stamina keeps running out way too fast. Oh, stamina's out. Nope, 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 nope. See, I didn't bring any food with me as far as I'm aware. Because I was like, ah, oh, nah, there's no, there's no reason. We don't, it's not like we're going to kill a ton of zombies and stuff. Oh, bucket of water for the horse. Yes! I just realized we picked up a bucket of water for the horse. That is awesome, which means now we can actually... I wonder if we can drive the horse now. Drive. Ride. <laughs> Go vroom vroom on the horse. Okay, now we have to try and kill these dudes. But there's little stamina and HP as we have right now. 
I don't want to aim down the- Oh, I hit something. I don't want to aim down the side because if you aim down the side, uh, you waste stamina. So if you do this, if you aim down. Not that I'm going to hit anyways. My stamina is so low right now. This is bad. But I can't believe there were this many zombies in this place just now. I think if my bow skill was high enough, I wouldn't have to worry too much. Because basically all you'd have to do is make sure that you shoot them from a distance, stealth, and then you should be safe. Stamina is running out way too fast. Yeah, I'll put the gamma back down now, guys. Just want to quickly make sure we are safe here before I do so. I used five firebombs during this night. Killed at least 50 zombies. I hope. I think. Otherwise, that was just a waste. As long as I'm killing or oh, hitting one or two with the arrow, I don't have to be like a, a sharpshooter or anything. I just want to make sure I'm at least hitting one or two. Oh, that was a bad shot. Why are you not dying though? I've hit you so many times with arrows already. The armor is just a little bit too OP in the beginning of the game because I'm playing Nomad. But I'm struggling my butt off. Whoops. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just a little struggling a little bit to just kill them because they have so much armor on them. Even these guys with no armor, if you hit them in the face, they don't really die that easy. Out of stamina. And look how many times I've hit this dude just now. He's still walking. Melee skill. I, I actually want to check after this how much my melee skill has gone up. Oh, dropped loot. A zombie dropped some loot. Aww. I thought it might actually be something awesome because the zombie dropped it. Oopsie, you are mad at me. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, nope, nope. He died. Guys, just killing one or two zombies in this mod seems to be a mission. But although, I mean, you don't have to kill the zombies. You can run away as well. Oh, on, um... Rise shield is very bad. <laughs> I, I, I realized that just now. Um... I ran into a tiger on. As, uh, as soon as I started, I was like, oh, look at this view. I went over the ridge and looked into the water. And all of a sudden, that tiger's face just popped up in front of me. I was at least able to get away from it. But I died later um, because I just I didn't have stamina and the dudes were just way too many. Like I said, in the beginning, it's a little bit tough killing the armor dudes especially. Uh, because you only have like a wooden club or something. I need to get back to the trader and see if I can't just quickly eat and drink as well. I want to see if I can't get some more loot over here though as well. And then if I can get that horse to be mine. Okay, so the rice field, we should have cleared most of this place now. But we need to be careful just in case there's one or two more sleepers over here as well. Especially that lady, that general lady, she is really, really tough. Okay, um... Seems there's loot over here. We killed quite a few vultures, so there shouldn't... Ooh, I was about to say there shouldn't be any left, but I mean, look at this. There's still a zombie left. I wonder how much damage it actually did to him just now. And he is mad right off the bat. I just... I, I seem to be able to make them mad so easily, so fast. Okay, stamina, 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 stamina. Guys, our HP and food is so low right now, we're actually struggling with food and water. So I might end up- Oh, that was dumb, John. I might end up dying over here because I'm taking dumb chances right now as well. With so little stamina as we have right now and uh, HP, I should really not be fighting any zombies. But I'm trying to see, after all the zombies we've killed, there has to be something good over here still, right? I mean, I found that bucket of water for the... horse... Um, on how do you go about taming a horse? Do you just feed it water? Because like I said, I was, uh, at, I was at the horse earlier and it said needs water. Oh, crap. Um, too encumbered right now. I was at the horse earlier and it said needs water. So I'm guessing you just have to give it a little bit of water and you should be fine. What don't I need? We have a splint over here. Uh, eggs we might need. Oh, I can make more arrows. You know what? I'm going to leave these zombies for now because they, there's still a few left. 
I'm gonna get back to the trader and not die. I need to also be careful. There might be another vulture or two. If I can't run, we have a problem. Oh, like now. One item encumbered is fine, but any more than that and you are dead. Even right now, um, just having the chance of finding more vultures is really, really bad. Oh, crap. Okay, we can't afford to, uh, to grab anything else over here. Although, there might be some water water. This is actually really bad. The encumbrance in the game is super, super OP. If you're encumbered by one item, it's like you're really super, super encumbered. And if you have two items on you, you can't move at all. I don't know if that's intended like that, but yeah, you, you literally can't move a centimeter, even a millimeter, uh, as long as you're carrying two things. But this is a beautiful... Oh, uh, I need to set the gamma back down. This is a really beautiful mod, I have to say. Although, on I realize some of the textures are not fully HD. Uh, like, for example, the, um, the tiger... Early when I fought it, it looked really fuzzy. It uh, looked a little bit blurry. I don't know if it's going to be fixed later or if that's the model for now. I swear, if I run into that tiger now, it's, it's over here somewhere. If I run into it now, I'm dead. At least we have our little house over there. It's a shame you can't tell the time though, because I need to return to the trader, but I'm guessing it's still closed. Come on, move, 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 move. On the one hand, I'm, I like the fact that everything is action-based now, action skills. But it makes, like, uh, this really, really tough. Especially if you if you literally one item encumbered, it's lo it feels like you're carrying it too much. And if you carry, like, one thing more, look at this. As soon as I have one stone more, there's two items encumbered, I can't move. I, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this bad or if it's going to get tweaked. But uh, only being two items encumbered and not being able to move at all is drastic. We have to cut down these trees as well. I need the wood. If I can make some spikes to protect ourselves from uh, zombies and stuff. Because I think there might also be wandering zombies in the game too. Okay. I need to actually go back there and grab more stuff. Um, Food and drink. Food and drink. Food and drink. Rice and fish. Uh, we don't really have any water, so I'm gonna have to cook myself some. Although... Can we actually cook ourselves some stuff right now? Boiled water. It looks like it. Okay. Nice, okay. So you don't need, like, a fancy cooking pot or anything. You just need water and then this bamboo over here. I'm guessing you hang it over the fire and it just cooks over time or something. Okay, so we have water, we have food. Okay, awesome, it's open. Nice, nice, nice. I need to see if I can't make some more food as well on my own, because at the moment we are kind of in a tough position. Soy, chili powder. Oh, wow. Minus 20 water. Damn. Cabbage. Uh, you can eat the cabbage as is, but I'm guessing it's better to just make food. And then we have to scoop some water when we're out and about as well. This we can actually eat right now, but it's rice raw. You can actually use it as a recipe, W, to make flour and stuff like that. So we have to save it for later. Okay, we don't have any wood left, do we? I need to chop down a tree or two then, and then I need to... I'm going to keep the stone pick here until we actually need stone. But yeah, we are in desperate need of food and water right now, so I'm hoping the trader has some for us. Hey, Lazaro, welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, how much water does this give? 20, nice. Okay, that's not bad. Um, So if I drink three of these, that should fill me up all the way. And I just have to focus on food right now. Yeah, but like, like I said, guys, so far, I'm actually really enjoying this mod. It's tough, uh, but in a good way. It's kind of grindy. Look, yeah, look at that. Uh, like, just now, that texture on the wood, it's very blurry for some reason. I don't know if it's a setting I have off or anything, but the texture on the door looks kind of off. From a distance, all of a sudden, it's fine again. But my textures on my settings are all the way full. Yeah, uh, texture quality, full, texture full, uh, filter, high. Usually when this stuff is low, um, the wooden stuff looks like that, but that's high. 
お礼の言葉だけで十分な報酬です。Useful cooking. We just need. Okay, let's just take the feathers then for now. Any more jobs? Buried supplies. That's gonna take way too long to、uh, actually go and get. 最高の戦いゴールは道ではなく、道の先にある課題であることもあります。Oh, uh, do you have food? I'll just stand like this and look at the entrance over there. I want to see you when the zombie comes inside. A tattoo over here looks really cool. That's awesome. Okay, rice, slime, you can actually also eat. There's only five food. Cupa, fried, that's only ten food. But we might actually have to start thinking of buying these because we are in desperate need of food. Rice, slime, pupa. That's ten food, but that's all we have right now. I think we might be able to make like bacon and eggs and stuff. But I haven't been able to kill any animals. I should probably see if I can't hunt down that tiger. Although I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to even kill a tiger right now. Oh, firebomb. But we can't get that right now, unfortunately. There's no way. You reset day four. So I have time to come back and buy it. I just have to do more quests. But the food, I'm going to have to buy the food for now. It's only one. And then. I wonder if you can. No, but you, even if you cook the rice, it's still going to only give you one. I slime, perhaps. Okay. It seems at least we've cleared the zombies on this side of here, but they can respawn over time, so we have to be careful. Guys, please remember to hit that like button if you like what you see. If you have any tips or comments or feedback for the creators of this mod, the link to their Discord is actually in the description down below.、Um, as soon as this goes live for everyone, at the moment it's only for YouTubers and streamers and stuff. Um, as soon as it goes live, I'll post the link to where you can actually find it in the description down below. But for now, if you have any thoughts or opinions on this, do go ahead and go into the Discord and comment over there. Okay, so we have a lot of wood. We need a ton of stone now as well. We can actually eat this. And all of this. And it doesn't really fill us up that much. I can actually see if I can't find some chickens or something to kill. Or if I, like I said, if I can find that other, other ooh, bucket of water. A bucket of water, and a bucket treats that a horse loves. If you offer it to him, he'll surely soon become trusting and he can ride him. Using the upgrade function RMB, a right mouse button on a horse. Block in the POI. More about taming in the journal. Okay, let's go, let's go see if we can't tame a horse. If we can tame a horse, we'll be able to move around easier as well. Keep that there. I just need food. I really, really, really desperately need food right now. I don't think I have any food on me at the moment except for this. You can eat this, but you lose HP if you eat it, so that's not recommended. If I can find some bunnies and stuff to get a hunt, we'll be able to make more food as well. There was a horse, I think, at this pure eye over here. So let's just re ch、uh, check if we can't find him. And then, like I said, if I can go kill that tiger.、Uh, I've seen this mod before, but it's been quite a while. Is there any changes since the update? The Jaro, there's tigers. That should answer your question. There are tigers in the game. Last time there were only wolves. And now it seems you can actually even tame horses and ride the horses. So those two are already big changes.、Uh, there's a lot of graphical changes as well, way more trees and stuff.、Uh, so far, some of these pure eyes look new as well. And the zombies are just. It's, I'm playing Nomad difficulty. I've died already. So yeah, the game's kind of tough, but it's fun. I wonder if I shouldn't come back over here quickly. We've cleared this place mostly. So let's just see if there's no more loot over here first. There might be another vulture or two, so I need to be careful of that. These are rice paddy farms and stuff, so there's a lot of stuff we can actually find over here. We have also encountered quite a few、uh, vultures and stuff over here.、Um, I'm guessing there is actually like a、um, patch note. There, there are patch notes for this mod、uh, that you can also find in their Discord, I think. Come on, the more gold and silver we can get right now, the more we can buy food. I don't see. Oh, oh that's bad.、Um, wait, but these aren't even lit. How did I burn just now? That's not lit, but I got set alight just now by standing on it. So you can actually use that as a horde defense as well. Just put a few of those down、uh, underground, and as, as soon as the zombies walk over this, they burn. I need to try and remember where I saw that horse. 
think if I'm not mistaken, there is a horse in this area over here somewhere. Just can't remember where. What's that? What's that? What's that? Cocoons. Oh, I thought it's food. Well, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. I'm too encumbered right now. I am so slow. Why are they not? Oops! Ah, uh, shouldn't ask questions. Shoot, John! Shoot, John! Shoot, John! Shoot, John! Shoot, John! Shoot! 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 shoot. Now let's do this. Do this. Drop this. I know I might need that, but I'm gonna. Do, I need to move. Okay, so far it doesn't look like the vulture can easily attack you. But it did a, it did land a hit on this. I need to be careful. Okay, yeah, vultures. Vultures, vultures, vultures. I hate vultures. I need to be careful because I'm encumbered. Yeah, if I'm encumbered just by one thing, I uh, and I'm two things, I won't be able to move. What is this? Bone breaker. Oh, it's a candy. Okay, but I'm gonna drop this for now. I might need it later, but I need to be able to just move for now. I'm not encumbered by two items again. What's this? Ooh, too many feathers. Ah, it feels like it feels bad, but I need to drop some stuff. I think let me just drop a few things in here then. Uh, bone breaker. This is melee damage more. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just make more arrows? There you go. And then I can pick this up, and this. Uh, no. Did I just hear a, a tiger? I swear, if the tiger comes to me, I want to go hunt it, not at me. I could have sworn I just heard the tiger attack. Although their noise sounds like tiger-like. Uh. See, because I'm a one item encumbered right now, it makes it really hard to move. Oh, that's how the bunnies get satellite. They step on the fire. Yeah, that's good to know. That means I can actually also just go look for the bunny. It should be dead by now. I need meat. Okay, there's way more sleepers over here. I do not want to kill them right now. Or I don't want to deal with them right now. I'm guessing there might be... There's a ton of loot in there. But there might be snakes in there as well. I need to be careful. I can at least deal with this dude quickly. I should be able to quickly loot this. Oops. Did not notice he's mad. Primitive bow skill has improved again. Nice. Oh yeah. Should probably go and skin this vulture as well. It seems the vultures sit on the roofs. Some of them sit on the floor, but most of these sit on the roofs. But before you notice it, there's another vulture or two. I want to go skin that... Uh, I want to go kill the, the tiger so I can actually skin it. Get the meat from it and then perhaps make myself some proper food. Lucky one. So this is Lucky Looter. I'm able to jump a one by one block high, so I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that my parkour skill has gone up. Two items encumbered again. The, the encumbrance in this game is just at the moment really, really bad. You can barely do anything, and then you're super duper duper encumbered again. I want to make sure that I drop all of this stuff in the other container outside, so I don't have to worry about coming back in here again. So we grab this. We just go dump it here. I'm gonna go see if I can't get that horse. That'd be awesome if I can actually get the horse right now. I don't know if it's too early, perhaps, but I'm definitely gonna try. Okay, so this is for more melee, but I'm gonna only use that as soon as I really need to kill a ton of zombies. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Gonna keep that. Nitrate we don't need. Paint we don't need. 
This we're going to sell. This I need to fill up. I think you can actually fill it up over here in the water, right? How do you fill up? Is there a special way you fill these up? Ooh, okay, empty jars. I filled the water source. No, this is a water source, but it's not giving me any water. But it does say something about beeswax. You can use it for honeycombs and stuff. I'm not able to pick up any water with this. I've tried just now. Okay, anyways. uh, Where did I see that horse? Unfortunately, we can't even check the map. Because you, you can't see anything on the map uh, until you unlock it. So for now, we are blind. Hello, horsey! Remember that I thought he despawned just I was like, oh, He hid behind his hay bale so well. Please. What now? How long does this take, though? It doesn't look like I can pick up the, the bucket again. It's still drinking. Journal, journal, journal. Where's the journal? Uh, I think I'm being kicked by a horse. No, really, I was kicked by a horse today. The horse is here. My feet will drive them out to joy. I found a living and fairly peaceful horse in an old stable with the condition is bad according to the circumstances. I think I will have to feed it a bit before I can ride it. But as a horse like, horse like to eat and what provides it with the uh, most important vitamins, it definitely needs buckets of water. Then maybe cabbage and turnips and maybe some vitamins, nashes and peaches wouldn't be wrong, I think. I'm going to go find some of that and offer it to the horse. Wish me, I mean, I'm crossing my fingers. So I think it's actually luck based. The more water you give it, the better. Ah, it's a shame. Can I mark this? The more water you give the horse, the better. Uh, if you give it turnips and food and stuff, then after a while, this will become your steed. It's a shame it doesn't say exactly how far... Ooh, bucket of water. Can I just pick this up and give it to him? There's water right there. That's one lazy horse. He can't even move forward a little bit for water. Okay, so this... I wonder if I could just feed it like this to him. I'm guessing this is going to last a while because I can't interact with him right now. I'm not seeing his name, Mimiji. Dude, that bucket is so empty right now. I know you're thirsty, but I mean, are you actually trying to drink ghost water or something? Okay, I can't right click right now, which means he's still probably just drinking at the moment. I'm wondering if it's going to tell me whether, it, like, do I need to stay with him to get the horse? Or after a while, when I come back, is the bucket going to be gone and I need to feed him more? Okay, so let's see. We have a clear quest right there. So at least we can set the markers. We just can't see on the map what's going on. Which is kind of bad. <laughs> gonna... Our core skills. I, every time I hear that sound, I'm like, what, 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 what now? What now? It sounds like a war horn. Okay, so we need to be careful. I can't wait until the trader gives me a bigger backpack and stuff. Well, I think it gives you a bigger uh, tool belt. I don't think it gives you the bigger backpack. If not mistaken, the bigger backpack comes with... Oh, hello. Uh, bigger backpack comes either crafting it or perhaps also just like the tool belt the trader gives it to you. It's been so long, I, I genuinely can't remember. I need to reorder my tools and stuff in my belt because at the moment I am so confused. My club used to be on the right, now it's on the left. That farmhouse over there usually has dogs and vultures, but also has like a cooking pot and a Euroria and stuff to be able to make food. Yep, there's definitely dogs and these over here. Ah! Ah! Waking one of these up now. Ooh, that's messed up. As he stands up, he hits me. Oh, crap. Dude. Like, dude, ooh, ooh. Multiple snakes. And multiple zombies. Okay, 
So the snakes, I think, can give you actually meat. So I should probably go for them as well. Hmm, I don't. I really don't feel like killing all of these zombies right now. Oh, look at the vultures over here. Vulture, vulture. So I'm guessing, yep, there's a vulture on that side as well. And on the roof, there are so many vultures over here. This place to the right is teeming with vultures right now. I need to be careful. I mean, I can get a ton of feathers over there. That's awesome. Can I repair this? Ooh, I need some rope. Why do I keep missing him? I can literally just uh, shoot over his head every now and then. Whoopsie. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, need rope, need rope, need rope. Why can't I see it under... Oh, I need eight. It feels like I need more rope now than last time. Well, more plant fibers per rope, I mean. Come on, 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 come on. There you go. Okay. I need some stone for this. There are so many zombies coming from right now. <laughs> I need to be careful. Especially, like I said, that uh, tiger is still out here somewhere. Food is so low, I'm actually starting to run out of stamina again. It does look good. Uh, so far, it's looking really well. I just need to make sure I keep dodging them. But the problem right now is the food. We are running out so fast. The stamina, the max stamina keeps going down. Okay, so, uh... Every time I hear these zombies, I think it's a, an animal of some kind. The way they grunt just sounds animal-like. Guys, please remember to smash that like button if you like what you see. Please don't go kill my boss right now. Yeah, uh, leave a like if you see what you uh, like what you see so far. And, uh, also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It really does help the channel out a lot. It feels like these farms are way bigger and have way, way, way more vultures than what I'm used to. I mean, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. And the, the arrow doesn't really do that much damage. If I can find myself like a proper, proper fancy bow, I might be able to do more damage. But yeah, I'm doing so little damage right now. Okay, this looks fancy. Clear quest. The zombie to the left. Those are cabbages. Cabbages. Rotten cabbages as well. If I'm not mistaken, one of these POIs actually had a wolf protecting it as well, so let me be careful of that. And also, that zombie just saw me. Yep. So before the others over here wake up, let's just see if I can't do some bonus damage to them. Come on, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay, I can at least come wake them up a little bit over here, just see what's happening. Look at all the red dots. Oh crap. And I don't have that firebomb because I didn't I opted not to take it. Now look how many zombies there are. That's because one followed me and I couldn't sneak it just now. And because my food's so low, my stamina's also running out faster. If we can get ourselves a uh 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 is a tatsubo. Or a cannibal. Uh there, there's different kinds of clubs in the game. Uh if we can get those right now, it's basically like a wooden club with like steel studs on it. We'll be able to do way more damage to these zombies. Be careful of aggro in them, because at the moment, my stamina is super duper low. Yeah, stand in front of each other, that's good. The more you stand in front of each other and hit each other, the more it helps me. You can actually hear multiple every time I hit them, because they're hitting each other as well. Every time you hear the choo -choo, it means they hit each other as well. That's why it's actually nice getting them in a train like this. Get stamina, get back stamina. It seems there's still a zombie sleeping inside. They're having nice dreams while I'm struggling outside of here. I 
Come on. Oh, I didn't see he was busy running. Just, oh, I hit him in the D. I didn't even notice he was um, speeding up just now. I was actually paying attention to something else. A pretty scenery. And be careful of zombie dogs. Like I said, guys, there's actually some pure eyes in this game, like farms and stuff that I remember. Um, very big villas and stuff. As soon as you open them up, um, uh, there's going to be like uh, traps with dogs and uh, wolves and stuff. So, oh, spider. I really hate that spider. He's low to the ground and really hard to hit. And the way he gallops. <laughs> creeps me out. Yeah, I have to shoot in front of him because he's moving too fast. And then the turnips and stuff I have to grab over here for the horse. I wonder if I can also eat these vegetables, but I'm guessing I'm going to have to cook them up or something. Oh, I thought you died just now. Oh, there are more zombies in the front. Yep, there's more coming in. This is, I think I'm done. All of a sudden, there's more. And these guys aren't even part of the clear, uh, clear quest right now. Oh, there's so much. Oh, the general lady is coming. That is not good. I need to see if I... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Why are you so fast? Did he just jump on his friend's head or something to get over? I'm going to have to draw this one out and with me so I can clear the POI. I just need to focus on killing that one. It seems there's a wandering horde over here. Or just wandering zombies that actually all converged over here. But since my food is so low, my stamina is super low. If I can get this zombie out, I'll be able to kill it quickly. Come on, dude. Outside you go. See, it's a clear quest. I have to kill this one before dying or leaving. Otherwise, the, uh, the uh, quest fails. So if I can just focus on quickly killing him, at least the quest is done. So if I die or I have to run, the uh, quest doesn't fail. Oh, many samurai. And be careful that nothing jumps from the side over here. Uh, hello. Wait, there's another... Oh, there's another red. Which one of these are red? I don't know if it's inside the house or outside. Wait, what? I can't tell where the zombie is. There's a red dot on the map. It looked like it went this way just now. The compass is a little bit buggy, it seems. So I might just have to kill all these zombies right now to be able to... Find the red dot. Oh, now it's getting dark. It's a rainy, rainy, rainy day, it seems. I actually like this this atmosphere, this weather and stuff. Yep, it's raining. Leave me alone. This is a super danger. Uh, I don't know where this red dot is, guys. There's a red dot on the compass, and I don't know if it's part of these zombies over here, or if there's actually still a sleeper zombie. It doesn't seem like there's a sleeper in there, so it has to be one of these zombies, but I don't know which one. One of these zombies over here is the blue or the red dots on the minimap still. The compass. If I can't figure out which one it is, I can't kill it. Yep. It's gonna get dark now as well because of the weather. I can't have the torch and the weapon at the same time. I don't know which zombie I'm supposed to kill. And I can't leave before I kill that zombie, unfortunately. It has to be one of these two, I think. I think it's this green one. Come on, hit each other. Kill each other. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. One down. The problem is since you don't have guns and iron knives and stuff yet, you can't really do much damage. You do get swords and katanas and stuff, but only way later. So until you get that, you are stuck with really crappy weapons, really bad stamina, and food that's running out. All faces itching right now. Might be stress related. <laughs> oh, come on, another lady. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, she's fast. I forgot that when she gets mad, she gets mad. Let me see if I can't get that green dude. I think it's the green dude. Come on, my friend. Where are you? 
I think it's this dude over here. He's the one that's from inside this place. So if I can kill him, we will be able to run away. We don't have to kill all of these zombies. My stamina's so low right now. It's so dark. Oops, and she's mad again. It's so easy getting this one mad, it seems. If I had a firebomb again... Oh. If I just had one more firebomb, I could actually kill them quickly. The Molotov really, really, really does help. Come on, stamina. Oh, crap. Mm. You have to swap between the torch. The torch uses a lot of stamina, but I can set them alight. There's another zombie outside. Another few. It looks like this green one uh, has a friend. If I can just kill that one dude. See, the problem so far is uh, it feels like Feral Sense is on for this mod. Because every time I try and kill one POI or do one POI, there's so many zombies all of a sudden. Like, way, way too many zombies. This is Nomad difficulty, but I'm having a really hard time. Yep, a new one. Oh, no, he's also green. So I have to keep track of which green one's mine. Where did you come from just now? He's definitely mine though, the green one. Oh, come on. Stand still. He's definitely mine. If I can just get him. My food's busy running out all the way now, so I'm going to start dying from my hunger again. And if your food gets too low, you can't do melee, so I'm going to have to die again later. I feel like the difficulty at this moment is kind of scaled like insanity. Because of how uh, tough the zombies are, they're, they're very spongy. Come on. Now, which one's mine? See, now there's two green dudes. Now it make, And with this trail of zombies, it makes it hard to see. But he will stand still. If I can let him join me... Okay, he's not mine. He's not the one I'm supposed to kill right now. But if I can kill him, he's out of the way. He's mine. Raider over here doesn't want, doesn't want to give up, does he? Where did you come from? It sounds like you fell off the roof just now. Oh, both of them hit me. That is bad. Now, which one's mine? That one or this one? Guys, this is really, really bad. I feel like just canceling this quest. But if I cancel this quest, we won't get a bigger backpack. And with our stamina and HP this low, it takes me uh, to run out of stamina just once to die right now. I'll only be done by the, uh, tomorrow in game. Are you mine? Yes, you're mine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can just kill you. I can be done with this. Oh, crap. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? I didn't do anything to you. He has to be close to dying if he's that mad. Yeah. I'm actually thinking of just jumping on the roof or something, having them hit each other. My stamina is super low right now. This is bad. You're not mine. You're mine. Give me my arrows back. Thank you. Yeah, hit each other, please. If you're walking in a line like that, it just helps me if you just smack each other a bit. Oh, there's an arrow right there. Ooh. Only quitters quit. <laughs> My food, though. Finally. Oh, are you mine? Just finally. Damn. And be careful not to grab too much stuff. Oh, I'm too full. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. It goes just how easily you can get encumbered in this game. In this mod. 
probably go just go back to the trader without looting over here. Because I can't carry anything anyways. My backpack is too small. I feel like I I, I think they are gonna tweak it. Um because I mean having two items encumbered and then you can't move is a little bit too much. So if you can at least just slow down a bit but not be fully encumbered to the point where you can't, can't move, that will actually work. At the moment I literally Oh, are you I wonder if he's dangerous or not. Is he edible? I need the meat. Oh crap, he's a bear. He's a bear, Jean. He's a bear. Oh, and there's a wolf. Yes, there's a wolf. I need meat. Um, <laughs> I proceed to shoot a bear, asking whether I, I wonder if he's going to actually be dangerous or not. It's a bear, Jean. It's a panda bear, but it's a bear. Okay, um. Hello? Come on. Oh, there's a stag all of a sudden to the left. That's a massive buck. That over there, uh, yeah, no? There's a buck walking up and down over there. It's like a very brown animal. Okay, look at all the zombies. They are following me from inside over there. They follow you, I feel like, really quite far. Now, where the hell are you? Need to get lower to get closer to him, but he's inside the bamboo of here. This, <laughs> this is dangerous to my health. Like, really dangerous. All the zombies are following me all the way here. Since I went in this direction, they're following me in this direction now. This is messed up. I can't shoot through the bamboo. Wait, what? Look how big my arrow is. That's a bug. I just found a bug. <laughs> That's a giant arrow. That is gigantic. <laughs> he can't move. He's too. Uh, there's too uh, big an arrow on him right now. Okay, now how do I kill this wolf over here? But yeah, guys, I just found a bug. I shot an. Oh, there's a, there's the deer, the stag. Crap. Finally came out, but I can finally kill you. I don't know how far I'm supposed to shoot to try and kill that dude. I, th I think the massive arrow that's stuck in him right now is stopping him from moving. Oh, but I'm so income. Oh, no! 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 See, one item encumbered. One! I can't move. That, that's too much. I I'm sorry, but that's way too much. I'm literally carrying one item too much and I can't move at all. And because of that just now, I wasn't able to move completely. He's going to start aggroing soon, so I need to be careful. I'm one hit away from dying now. I'm guessing it is a bug where, uh, or it is a, a problem, uh, Mistake, we're not, uh, we can't move with two items encumbered. Because basically in, uh, like, War of the Walkers, uh, an Apocalypse, uh, um, where's UK? When you get encumbered like that, it's not this bad. Uh, what I mean by that is you can still move a little bit, and when you have it too much, then you can stand still. But literally, only have two items of you and you're dead. I just dropped the meat as well to get away from that zombie. Okay, now I picked it up again. Okay, look how low my HP and stuff is right now. I'm gonna die from hunger. Come on. <laughs> that arrow is too big. You can't move. That is one gigantic... Will I be able to hit him with that arrow in him? It's the first time in my life that I've actually found a uh, bug like this. Usually by the time I find bugs and errors like this, um, it's already been reported. Come on, I need the meat. 
He's getting closer, but he's struggling because of that massive arrow in him. I'm trying to hit him, but I'm struggling to find the distance. There's a drop to the arrow. It seems every arrow in him is growing. It's not just... Oh, crap. This is bad. Um... Mmm, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Can I wear this? Can I wear this? Two, three, four. Make a rope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, before he gets closer. Prepare it. I feel so sorry for that, um, panda. He is so heavy right now because of all the arrows stuck in him. Because I think this is funny, look at that. Massive arrows inside him. Oh, come on, he keeps jumping every time I shoot. That's definitely a bear, because every time I shoot him, I hear a bear. Then I get scared that there's a zombie behind me. I can't see him! Um... Please tell me I can kill him with the arrows that I have on me. I think I might not have enough arrows. If he gets close to me, I might be able to pick up the arrows again. Okay, so I definitely found a bug. That is one <laughs> massive, massive uh, bear right there. Look at that. I can't see him. I don't know where to shoot. If I, get, like, if I could get close to him, I could quickly pick up the arrows and then like, literally disappear. I can't stop now because I'm going to waste all those arrows if I stop. I wonder that stag, how close he is to dying. I literally can't tell where the panda begins and the arrows end. I'm going to have to kill her first before I continue. Come on, lady. If I can get close enough to the bear, I might be able to grab the stuff on him. The problem is right now, because the bear is so fast, I'll die. My HP is too low. Come on, stamina. Give me my stamina back. I can't fight this lady with- uh, with, uh, She's like- she, uh, she has to one-hit me and I'm dead. She only has to one-hit me. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. How do I kill this thing now? I'm guessing he has a ton of HP left. If I can just get those arrows off of him. But he's literally going to one tap me and I'm dead. The zombie sleeping over there. Come on, I need to pick up those arrows. If he keeps moving away, I can't help him. Can't pick up. Where did you go just now? Okay, now I can finally see you. There you are, you bugger. But now you might be able to kill me. Come on, come on, come on, please die. I need your meat. Although he has 2,000, if he's anything like a normal bear, he has 2,000 HP. Which makes it almost impossible to kill him. Where are you going? I think the pandas are bugged. Pencil, please, dude. I've wasted so many arrows on you already. I can just kill you. I mean, I do uh, kind of feel bad killing this thing. I mean, I really need the meat. 
I wonder if you can kill them even. Damn, every time I hit him with an arrow, the more and more of those bugs appear. This is going to make it super, super, super hard being able to kill him because I can't see him. And I have no idea how much HP has left. I don't know if I'm actually close to killing him right now or if I'm just wasting all my arrows. I could just kill that stag dozen area as well. Damn, I'm missing. I, I, I wonder if it's even worth the effort, guys, because I can't see him. I can't kill him. If you can't see the uh, the bear or the panda, how are you supposed to kill it? Okay, nice. He's dead. It just takes him to swipe up once at me and then I'm dead. No, 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 no. Give me back. Thank you. I'm not going to make it back to the trader in time. But if I, uh, if I give up now, he might actually be close to death. Although he's so super bugged. It makes it super hard killing him. Come on, get close enough. Guys, I need the food to heal right now. That's why I'm actually trying this right now. But it feels like this is just impossible because I have no idea how much HP is left. The amount of arrows that I've put in him already and he's still alive. Especially since we've noticed there is a bug with him, and it might be that you can't kill him at all. I wonder if it's possible to get him stuck, but as soon as he moves sideways like that, he's going to go through blocks. If he does that, he's going to clip through the blocks, even if I put a block there to stop him. I have no idea whether this is working or not. That's a big problem right now. And it's night time, so the trader just closed. Go Panda, go. <laughs> I'm gonna die from hunger. My food over here refuses to die. Imagine this is a bug that they put on on purpose so you don't kill the pandas. But I mean, this is the bear in the game. That's why it's making a bear sound. Stand still, stand still, stand still. Oh, come on, man. The amount of arrows I've missed are like that already. Dude, like seriously, how many more shots do I have to give? I'm running out of arrows. I've wasted all my arrows. Most of my shots have been headshots, so you should be quite low. I'm actually wondering if I can't do melee, but because the zombies got to me so much- Uh, crap. Because the zombies got to me, I won't be able to, um, melee him because I'm one shot from death. Okay, let's try this again. I just, I just noticed I'm super encumbered. So if something attacks me right now, I'm dead. That's easy, at least 50 arrows, if not more. He's also not attacking me, which makes me think he might be completely bugged. But after all that arrows, I want my meat, damn it. <laughs> It does seem like he's attacking the frame over here. The amount of damage that I've done to this bear and he's still alive, that is 
shocking. And it makes it really hard to hit when he's bugging out like that. I'm going to use up my last few shots and then that's it. I've wasted all my arrows on a bugged bear. Oh, now I get a Wandering Horde. No, 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 no. That's just messed up. Talk about adding insult to injury. Now I can't kill the bear. And there's a Wandering Horde over here. I'm just gonna have to go back. There's nothing I can do right now. I wasted all those arrows for nothing because the bear is just not dying. And I can't see how much HP is left, unfortunately. So it might be one shot away. But every time I shoot him, the arrows glitch out. And he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Damn. It's actually very disheartening getting that far. And there's just no way. Now the problem is I'm out of food, I'm hungry, and I'm going to die again. Problem is, it's so. Oh, what day is it? It's so dark right now. What day is it? Uh, uh, it's, at least it's not day seven yet, right? I'm gonna have to put the torch away, guys, because these zombies. Yep, he saw me. He's not following me inside my POI. Yeah, guys, this is super, super insane. Uh, if I just step on that, for example, right now, I'm dead. This definitely feels more like insane difficulty than it does Nomad difficulty. But I have to uh, I have to say, uh, so far, I love the game. I, I'm enjoying it. It's just a few things that have to be tweaked because it's like, whoa, damn. The amount of effort you have to put in to try and kill a zombie and the fact that you, you die so easily. This is, I don't know. I might just be missing something at the moment. Dude, what can I make? I need boiled water. Okay, what's this going to give me? Rice slime. Grass soup. Oh, I threw all my fresh uh, grass away. No, I didn't. Ah, uh, but you need 50, right? You need 50. Can I need to go cut more grass quickly outside? I'm so low on HP right now, I'm going to die. And I apologize for the darkness right now. I know it's super, super dark. The fact that I just wasted that many arrows kind of sucks. I have to say, this is really, really creepy. Now there's an actual bear over there. Are you kidding me? After I struggled, after I used so many arrows, struggled to kill, uh, kill a panda, now I see an actual bear over there. So this is super dangerous right now. Okay, so I need murky water. We're just going to put that in there. I'm hoping that will actually give me some food. Quick lime. There's nothing I can eat right now, right? I'm trying to see if there's anything I can actually eat that's gonna help me because my I'm busy dying. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm dying from hunger. I literally have like a fragment. Oh yeah, guys, I'm busy dying right now. Health one out of 111. Boom. Okay, so that just has to be tweaked a bit because I feel like I just wasted almost a hundred arrows and that uh, panda just wasn't die. Oh, now there's something by the base. Something outside. Yep, a wandering horde came by. Of course. See this bear over here now. Wait, is this a new Wandering Horde, or is this the old one? 
It's just a shame that I wasted all my arrows on the panda because now I could have killed this bear over here. At least I have full food again, but to die just to get your food full kind of sucks. I'm a guy that doesn't like dying in my series. Since I can't see, it's really hard to tell where the zombies are. A bear's gonna attack. I wanna light one of the fires over here, but I can't while these guys are in the way. This is a massive amount of zombies right now. Yep, yep, that's a massive wandering horde. There's no way I can kill this right now. I don't have any weapons, it's nighttime. I can't put a torch down, so we can't have light over here. Is the gamma all the way up? It feels really dark. Okay guys, we're gonna have to do this slowly the whole night through. I don't mind the challenge and stuff, it's just that it feels like you, you're constantly dying and there's no way to do it. It might just be that I'm missing something really crucial to the gameplay and then that's why I'm struggling so much. The sheer amount of zombies the whole time. Uh, you, you can't loot up your eye without there being zombies. Um, but that's not too bad because you can just run away, but still. Um, I'm playing on relatively easy, easy settings and I'm struggling this much. If I was playing warrior difficulty, I would have rage quit by now. <laughs> it would have been too difficult. That bear must stay in the distance. Yeah, I need to uh, wear them down slowly but surely now because we I can't put this torch down. It's going to be too dark. I won't be able to see where they are. Now with the crawlers in the grass over here, I can't even look away for one second. They're going to go at my, uh, my ankles. If I can make them fight the bear paths, but so far it seems that they don't attack the wildlife. Earlier with the wolf and with the panda, none of them attacked the zombies. And the zombies didn't attack them. Okay, I've killed one just now. I could try and run into the traders and it's going to teleport me away. But that's actually very dangerous. You don't know where it's going to teleport you to. If it teleports you right in front of the tra uh, the bear or right in front of these zombies somehow. Cardio training. <laughs> I've been running around so much and my cardio is going up. And there's a lady in the distance as well. I need to be careful not to draw too much attention. I still haven't picked up my backpack, I just realized. I instantly heard all of these zombies on the outside. This is my second wandering horde, isn't it? And this is just, uh, the same one that followed me all the way back here. Because earlier... Please don't let them see me. Um, earlier when I was trying to kill the panda, we had a ton of wandering zombies. I ran away and all of a sudden there's these over here as well. So it's either one and the same and just one massive, massive wandering horde. Or it's two different ones because I escaped the first one. I feel like if food was a little bit easier to attain, and if you can at least do a little bit easier with the melee. I mean, I took uh, Nomad difficulty to explore the mod and have fun. But constantly, I, I think like more than 50% of this time so far is just trying to kill zombies. And it's not that, uh, I, I don't mind the amount of zombies, it's just the toughness of the zombies. On Nomad difficulty, I feel like they should be a little bit easier to kill. Because I know like it's, it sounds like I'm just complaining, but I'm just giving my feedback um, as someone that actually enjoys the mod. Actually, I like this thing about ancient, the ancient era of being able to fight zombies and stuff. We still haven't even found a big city yet, and those things are insane. The new trader, yeah, I'm loving it. The uh, tigers and the pandas, I'm loving it. <laughs> that fix the bug with that one. Uh, but yeah, so far, overall, I love the mod. It's just a few things that gets on your nerves because you're constantly um, just struggling. Come on, stamina, stamina, stamina. As soon as it turns daytime, I can actually just use my club. At least if they're standing in a row like this, they're hitting each other too. 
Come on, help me kill your friends, people. I have a feeling that I'm going to have the same amount of HP left after this as I did before I died. And the only reason I died was because of hunger. Hopefully during tomorrow's stream I'll be able to do a little bit better as well. Another thing is you have to get used to the mod again. It's been a while since I've played this. Nice. Finally a drop. Please tell me there's some food in there. Food right now is to me gold in this mod. Speaking of gold, we do have some gold and silver we can sell the trader and hopefully we can afford more stuff. Although I don't know what day it is going to be in game now. I think it's only going to be day three. I need to buy more new stuff from the trader. So we need more traders, but I don't know if they are... I think there are multiple traders, right? I can remember one being like in a bunker kind of deal last time. I wonder if there's a way to make a fire trap for bears. There has to be, right? If you put... A, but then again, one of these zombies, when they attacked me at the base just now, uh, walked over my campfire and he didn't get set alight at all. If I can put a campfire down and stack myself up against a tree and have the bear come for me, I'll be able to uh, have it burn, but it seems that the cooking fire is not burning them. At least the zombie didn't catch a light, so I don't know if the bear will catch a light. I'm just glad I can run on the outside of the trade over here. It's only when you try and go inside the trader's place where it teleports you away. And my stamina is super low. My food and water is also going down very fast because you're constantly trying to hit zombies. And you're constantly getting hit as well. See, this thing does do quite a bit of damage, especially when they're on fire. But the problem is the stamina usage. So you have to be very careful not to use too much stamina. And then you can't run away like with this dude right now. He's, he's attacking when our stamina is super low. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Uh, the, the difficulty, the, uh, the how hard it is to kill the zombies and stuff, basically. Let me know your thoughts as well. And then remember guys, if you want to have some uh, input on the mod as well, uh, the link to their Discord, to the Asian Mod Discord, is in the description. So definitely check that out if you want to leave your thoughts and opinions for the mod creators as well. They actually ask that everyone please just sub uh, submit, uh, submit their thoughts. That bear is actually attacking something. I'm surprised. I hear another crawl over here somewhere. Please don't break my ankles. Where did you come from? It felt like he just spawned in. He just looked in the corner of my eye like he came out of nowhere just now. Nice. See, this club is way more powerful, but the stamina usage as well you have to be careful of. Oh, a low crawler. I don't want to have a broken leg right now, so I need to be careful not to let the crawlers hit me. How the hell did you hit me? I jumped over you. I think there's a zombie on the inside as well. I need to be careful. As I shudder to think, if this is Nomad difficulty, what is Insane difficulty and Worry difficulty? I usually play Warrior in all the mods I try, but I'm so glad I went for Nomad. I'm a guy that gets easily frustrated, so I would have been so frustrated if on worry difficulty, if worry difficulty is harder than this, if I kept dying, I would have been frustrated. So it's a really, really, really good thing I went for Nomad. I think for anyone that wants to get used to a mod first, it's probably good to go for like an easy difficulty. And as you start succeeding, then go for the harder ones. We try and shoot them with a bow and arrow, but I think I have my arrows. Yep, arrows are at the base. The lady's gonna get closer. Oh, as well, why are you mad? I didn't do anything to you. Why are you mad? Someone sounds like a pig. Yeah. Be so careful right now. As soon as I get too close, he's gonna attack me. Ooh, 
that was a power attack. That's dumb. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Run, boy, run, boy, run. Woo! There's a zombie on the inside as well, so I need to be careful of that. As soon as I'm done with these, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm done, yay! Oh, did he just die? How did he just die? Okay, so there's a zombie inside the trade over here. There's nothing inside that loot. Oh, joyous. Joyous occasion. Yeah, what are you attacking right now? I'm just... I'm, I'm so afraid to try and shoot him with arrows because we wasted so many arrows. But he's a normal bear, so he should... It should work better on him. If I can shoot him and stand, like, for example, over this fire over here. Have the fire lit, have him walk over it. That might be enough to kill him. So you guys, I want to actually hear your thoughts. What do you guys think so far about this? And uh, So far, what's, what you've seen with this mod. What do you like? What don't you like? Uh, I'd actually like to hear your thoughts on this. Because to me, like I said so far, it's just a little bit grindy with how much you have to hit the zombies to kill them. But on the same time, you can just run away. Although, it does feel like when you run away, the zombies are just constantly following you super, super far. Where's that bear? I'm gonna see if I can't kill that bear somehow, but I don't have enough arrows left. I wasted so many arrows trying to kill the other panda. I'm just afraid if I try and do it with a bear, it's gonna be a, a waste. Perhaps if we go and get some more stone and just make ourselves way more arrows. Uh, where's a boulder though? Okay, so I, uh, I destroyed the only boulder that was here, and now that's a problem. He is attacking randomly though. It feels like uh, he, he feels like he's getting stuck and he's hitting everything. I thought he's attacking zombies, but it seems he's just attacking walls and stuff. Need more stone. Imagine there being a, a, a tiger down here or back here. I think last time I didn't see a water source this big. But this is something new, having this much water next to us. I can't remember there being water sources this big. I should actually see if we can't fill up these now that we act at a proper water source. Oh, you can. Nice. So it seems the paddies and stuff, the, the rice farms, you couldn't really do that over there. Hello, my lady. If I can somehow make her... Oh no, I thought that was the other general lady. If I can make this dude fight the bear for me. Okay, whoa, okay, that was a lot of... Uh, okay, is there one more boulder? If I can get one more boulder and one more tree, will I have so many arrows? Okay, they are attacking each other, nice. I thought they don't attack each other, so it's nice to see that they do. If I can just quickly get some uh, more arrows over here, we might be able to kill that bear. I need the meat. We need food. So far, I've realized food is a really tough thing to come by. I wonder if I can climb on this boulder over here. Guys, can someone in chat just say hi or something? <laughs> it almost feels like chat's standing still. So I don't know if it's disconnected or something. Apologize for this making people drunk, but I just want to keep an eye on my surroundings as I'm hitting the boulder. I wonder if there's also like crocodiles and stuff over here. Just now I turn my back and I get hit from the, uh, from the behind. Okay, so chat's still working. <laughs> yeah, so far overall guys, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying the visuals in the game. The new zombies, new buildings and stuff. Um, I do feel it's a little bit tough killing zombies with melee. As soon as you have a proper weapon, it's a lot easier. Early game is just really tough. Um, but as soon as you have a proper weapon, it gets a lot easier. There are proper clubs as well. 
If I'm not mistaken, last time it was more skill based. Where's that bear? Um, last time uh, when I played this, you could actually invest skills and stuff. This time around, you can't. Now it's more action skill based and stuff. Okay, now that bear's down there. How do I go about getting its attention? Okay, guys, now we have a hundred and something arrows, right? This bear should not be bugged because it's a normal bear. Please, 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 please. It's a shame you can't see its HP because that would be so much easier to know if you're close to killing it or not. I'm hoping it doesn't break the tree down. Oh, uh, that's bad. Uh, attack the zombie, please. Bear, where are you going? There's a zombie right there for you. Come on, attack it. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and run away. Okay, at least the, the... Okay, oh, come on. I was about to say, if he's stuck over there, then I don't have to worry. This bear is super fast. He's unlike the panda, is actually a threat. Whoopsie. Feels like he's breaking the tree down, that zombie. So if the frames go... Oh! Okay. That's proof that the panda was bugged to high heaven. How do I kill a bear, but I couldn't kill a panda? Unless it was, like I said, a thing uh, to, uh, why do you want to kill a panda? Uh, if you're trying to kill a panda, let's bug you out. If it's that kind of, like a troll, that that's kind of makes sense. Because I was, I was hitting that panda and hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and it wasn't dying. This bear I hit a few times and it dies. Even though it says now 600 HP, that's its corpse. A bear has over 2000 HP, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I see Robert is still there. I think people uh, were actually getting tired of me complaining about getting uh, struggling in this match. I had 30 people watching me at a stage and now there's only like uh, 20 watching me. I'm gonna admit, I'm struggling so far. You are what? I need more space. It was just slightly easier to kill zombies, especially if you go for headshots. I've been doing headshots from the start and I'm barely doing any damage with them. So if I can make myself, uh, I'll just actually see if I can't make a spear. Perhaps the spear works better than the club. Although I've upped the damage on the club so much by using it the whole time. I actually like his tattoos of here. Firebomb! Yes! Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's day four already. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some food then. But yeah, guys, it's day four. So, wow. <laughs> he reset day four, now it says day seven, so he definitely reset just now. Bone knife, we already have that. Arrows, we have our own. I need better weapons, man. If I had better weapons, we wouldn't be struggling as much as we are right now. Rice cooked. Oh, that's 10 food. Not bad. Bomb shells. I'm guessing you have to actually build the bombs yourself. I wonder if you can make fire bombs with this. Let's just buy it in case. I'm going to have to throw something away though. Like one feather. Okay, oh, and then also... Don't bend over like that, dude. I'm missing equipment. Can you help me? In fact, another job has just come uh, in that you considered... What? That you could do for me with a little luck. You some uh, something besides experience might come your way. If I can help, I'm happy to do so. I've taken an order from five other survivors. Your job would be getting the materials so I can make the items for them. I need some goldenrod plants, chrysanthemums, bamboo wood, iron, and some leather. Can you bring me these? Call me in. You can count on me. Good luck and don't forget anything. These are important customers. Okay. So now we have a quest that might give us some weapons and stuff, but you need a ton of plants and all that stuff as well. So finally, guys, finally we're starting to make progress. Okay, so I have died two times already. Damn. Okay, I need to check. Bamboo and stuff super easy to get. I'm encumbered by one item. Let's just eat that. 
See, there's chrysanthemums and stuff right around his base, but I can't grab these because they came. I was a little bit baggy just now. He hit me without hitting me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Because remember, I'm going to be streaming this tomorrow again and Sunday. We give it a fair shot. I'm going to be seeing if I can't at least get to the day 14 horde in these three streams. And then if there's enough likes, I'll actually try, uh, consider doing a uh, video series on this as well. So if you want to see me do like a series on this, just leave your comments down below, your likes, shares, all that stuff. And yeah, if I see there's actually a, a, a need for it, I'll, I'll make more. Now this is bear sinral. Wait, what? Cut from a hunted bear. Very tear resistance. You can uh, certainly use uh, this for something. Recipes. You have to dry it, but I'm guessing you need a, uh, some kind of station to be able to dry it. I'm just hoping food can't go off. Oh, that's gonna suck. Hello. Hello. Did you come say hello to my humble abode? Be careful not to have him aggro. Yep, aggro. Oof. Oof. Okay, so you just died on the shuriken over here. Nice. That was a little bit closer comfort. Okay, we have another bucket of nashis. We have to go give this to the horse. Uh, can we make more food? I need better food. I'm guessing I need a... What's it called again? Um... Irori. I think that one farm that I showed you early, uh, earlier actually has one of these. You have to make this. Cooking station. We have 11 points. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Cooking station. Let's craft that. Basic gear. Irori. Um, how do you make it? Simple fireplace. Wood. Clay. Rope. Small. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. But with that, we'll be able to make ourselves bacon and eggs as well, I think. Why did I do that? No one's zombies respawning over here. Hello, chick. Oh, stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still. There you go. When the meat actually comes to you, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to keep the firebomb on us. How do you make this? Firebomb. We need soy oil, animal fat, and cloth. Oh, that's easy enough, but we need a workbench. So for now, we're going to have to put these away, unfortunately. Bones as well. We have this, we just need more stone and then we can make more arrows as well. That's gonna go for the horse and then food, I'm, I'm gonna keep the food on me. Although if I keep it on me, then I won't be able to move as easily. We need to give this to the horse. Um, I wonder if the progress of the horse saves if you log off and stuff. Until he's yours. Imagine if it doesn't save and you have to constantly start over again with him. Um... So many zombies in the area. I really want to see if I can't start doing... Oh, this is what? Just plants. Just more plants. Okay, we're going to have to see if we can't find a field of goldenrod. It said we needed about 20 or 30 of each of this. The leather might be the toughest one to find because you have to kill animals and skin them. Although we might actually have enough leather already. If you can give us a better weapon for doing these quests, that will help us so much. Damn. Uh, that's not goldenrod. Damn, guys. Look at the amount of goldenrod and stuff we have to fetch right now. And these red plants aren't even goldenrod. I swear, if I die from, <laughs> from, the, bear, uh, from the tiger right now. I almost said bear. You have to be careful, guys. You can easily get stuck in the bamboo. It happened to me last time as well. If you get stuck in there, you will die. Because the zombies might be able to path in the way you did, and then they manage to actually block you in. I wonder if I don't have more at the base itself. I think from now on, if I'm running around, I have to look for golden rods and stuff as well. Unfortunately, there's not that much of a demand over here. I just realized my... Oh crap. Uh, this is still all the way up, my gamma. 
Every time the plants uh, or the, the leaves, um, the blossoms from the trees fall down, I think there's a zombie behind me. Every time I see it in the corner, I'm like, oh, zombie, 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 zombie. I think the, the trader actually sends you to a new trader after a while. I'm hoping he gives me after this quest also some tool belt space. Iron's gonna be a tough one to get. I know there was one PR that actually had some ty uh, iron in it that the zombies tried to destroy. Did I pick up any iron yet on my own? Do you have any headshots we're doing? I know this is just a wooden club, but damn. The only thing we don't have right now is iron. We don't have access to, I mean. Okay, we're almost done with the uh, chrysanthemum. The golden rod is a little bit tougher to find, I think. Although, if we just have to go back to that farm area, then we should be able to get everything we need. The farmer skill is... <laughs> because I'm getting some plants over here, uh, flowers over here, my farmer skill went up. Okay, that's 30 of those. Now I just need golden rod. You be careful not to run out of stamina too much because then I won't be able to defend myself. I hate spiders. Hello, spider. Been watching for a while. Now I feel like clubs or sledge type of weapon are best for this mod due to armor or something. Yeah, it's definitely. Although, um, I think last time I played with a spear. A spear might also be good. If you can keep them at, uh, at arm's length, perhaps it might actually help you. Oh. Hello. I think last time I played this, I actually used the spear. I can't remember. It's been so long, though. I just know that sometimes the clubs, the only problem with the clubs is it uses so much stamina. Seven more, come on. I don't want to get too far away from the trader right now while I'm busy with this. Because I'm afraid of that tiger. <laughs> as long as you can work on your stamina, then the power attacks work. The nice thing is the more you use the club, uh, the better you get at it. The, the, str the stronger it gets, the less stamina it uses, all that stuff. It's action-based. Club Master has increased. Now stamina and all that stuff is a little bit better too. I should actually see which skills have gone up since starting to use this. I keep backing up and just now back up into another bear. Be careful. Sometimes when the zombies stand up, they swing immediately. I think that's a seven days to die bug. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh, another zombie. Damn it. See, I got stuck in the bamboo like I said you're not, you're not supposed to do. And the zombie almost killed me. You have to pay attention to your surroundings because if you get stuck, there's one quest, guys. I do not recommend taking it if it's still in the mod. It's called the Bamboo um, Labyrinth. Or something like that. It's a massive uh, bamboo uh, labyrinth that you have to go through and kill zombies. You get stuck in there so easily. It's so confusing on the inside. Uh, you don't know where, which one's out and in. And you can't find all the zombies because you can't see them. It's a really, really tough quest. It's a shame I, I can't drink and eat the stuff meant for the horse. The horse is big, so I should be able to uh, use the stuff as well, right? Fill me up a bit. Okay, we just need six more golden rod, and then I'm hoping I have some iron at the base. I think if I go for those cooking pots and stuff, those extras, we might be able to get the iron we need from that. Oh, nice. Thank you. Seems tree trunks are still a good source of stuff in the game. As I literally just need six more golden rod, but now I'm not finding any. Chicken, I see you, but I'm not interested in you right now. There's actually two chickens. It seems, I don't know, I, I think that's a duck or a goose, right? And the one's a chicken and the one's a goose. 
Golden rod. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This stuff also looks like goldenrod, this over here. Um, I think it's ferns and stuff, so it makes it really... Oh, hello. You almost broke my leg. Okay, I need to be careful. I'm getting surrounded again. Now, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a beehive. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I have two bloody items in come, but I can't move again. Run, 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 run. I was afraid that the the bees just now were going to actually attack me. Let me get out of here. I'm way too encumbered. It feels weird saying way too encumbered and literally just one item. Uh, do this. Run, 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 run. I just need one more chrysanthemum. The zombies have a really creepy sound to him, though. The problem is I won't know whether it's a, 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 an animal like a tiger or something, or a zombie. Because they all sound the same. Some of these zombies have some really creepy no uh, noises to them. See, this is- now that's also a chicken, right? That's a chicken? No, that's a bu- <laughs> that's not a chicken, John, that's a bunny. Um, that's- uh, I saw a, a brown chicken as well. Yeah, please tell me at the base we have some iron to work with, at least. I think the cooking pots and stuff that we have extra, we can break those down. That should give us the iron that we need. I also need to put some spikes around this place as soon as possible. I wonder if spikes still kill the zombies easily or not, even though they're so tanky. Okay, so... Bamboo we have. Chrysanthemum. Goldenrod. Uh, animal skin. We actually have animal skin. Where did I put that just now? No, oh, that's actually called animal skin. It's from the snakes. What? Oh, over there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Bamboo, we just need 30. And then iron, I need to break down some stuff over here. Um, I think I can actually go and scrap these for some iron. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, that gives me a ton of iron. I'm surprised it gave me that much. Okay, let's see what the trader gives us for all this effort. I'm hoping it's a bigger tool belt, because at the moment I'm struggling with a small tool belt. Guys, the more stuff you can put on your tool belt, the less encumbered you are as well. So it really does, uh, it serves a dual purpose. Wait, what did you just give me? Yes, a bigger tool belt! Yes! Things are progressing, you have received a brand new belt with 10 spots. Finally, you can have more items at hand at the same time, it will make your survival easier. Basically guys, that means we have 4 more slots that, that can't encumber us. So as long as we have, for example, this, we can do this. Now all of a sudden we are only carrying 3 things that can encumber us. Although I should probably just keep the frames like so. I need to make myself some healing items. Let's keep the arrows on us because if we die we lose it. Keep the bombs on us. And perhaps the money on us. I need to make myself some more arrows and stuff. But this we have to go give to the uh, the, uh, the horse as well. And then jobs. I don't want to look at your butt, dude. Uh, clear zombies. Carpenter. Okay, so yeah, we at least unlocked our tool belts. Now next time we won't struggle as much because now we have a proper tool belt. Oh wow, yeah, we had stuff outside as well. And cash! Oh yeah, I dumped stuff to fight zombies early and I forgot about it. Nice. Now we can just do this. The storage is actually getting way too full of here at the moment as well. Food, how much food does this give us? 10. Oh 
Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it a stream for tonight. I am going to be streaming again tomorrow. Um, I was a little bit raging a little bit. Because I was getting frustrated dying and over and over. And the melee is really, really tough in this mod. But overall, I have to say, so far, I'm really enjoying the mod. The visuals are great. The, the fact that there's tigers and stuff in the game as well, that's a bonus for me. Um, I just need to figure out now how to go about not dying. <laughs> and getting better gear. As soon as we have better loot, we'll be able to do better as well. I'm going to do this and put all the food over here. Most of the stuff is food. The rest we can just dump. But yeah, next time what I want to do is I want to go give this to that horse. Uh, let me just quickly check something. Okay, we have water over here that should probably cook into normal water. But yeah, I want to go next time and we have to go feed the horse this bucket of peaches, I think. Hopefully we can get the horse soon because then we'll be able to drive around on the horse without having to worry about running around and stuff. Um, I think that's going to be a massive bonus for us as well, if we can just ride the horse. I'm guessing that's a thing, because otherwise you wouldn't feed the horse and get a companion that way. Overall, I feel like we did really, really well this stream. Like I said, I did struggle a bit. That was really much raging at teensy, <laughs> teensy weensy a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the more we get used to this mod, the easier it's going to get. And like I said, guys, now it can only go up. Now that we finally have a proper tool belt... I just need to figure out how to unlock these slots over here because um, there's no skill points for pack meal. So as soon as we can unlock more of here and not be encumbered, because literally if there's if there's one item, you're half speed. If there's two items, you stand still and you die. Um, so I, 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 I'm, I'm guessing that is a bug that's supposed to be fixed like the panda. Because just having one item over or two items over and you can't move at all, um, that's usually something that happens that if you have all your slots full. But yeah, guys, um, leave me a like if you liked what you saw just now. Uh, if you have any feedback about this mod, what do you think can change? What do you love? All that stuff. Whether you love it, hate it, what needs to be changed, what keeps the same. All that stuff, go over to the Discord. In my description down below, it, it says Asia Mod Discord. Click it, join that channel, and then just uh, leave your thoughts there. Send the, tell them I sent you as well, uh, that they know you guys are watching me stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. Um... Perhaps a little bit earlier than I was today. Um, I have I have a lot of recordings to do tomorrow as well. So I'll see exactly when I... Uh, you'll, you'll see me schedule it. But like I said, I want to face today 14 Horde as well. We're going to face today 7 Horde next stream. And then on the last stream on Sunday, um, we're going to be doing the day 14 Horde hopefully. But until then guys, thank you so much. What time EST? Um, at the moment, it is 2am GMT plus 2 for me. So... I started streaming four hours ago, which is 10 p.m. GMT uh, for uh, uh, GMT two for me. So that is four hours ago. Uh, in eight minutes time, that's four hours ago. So tomorrow, I'm either, I'm either going to be streaming again the same time four hours ago from now, or perhaps even six to eight hours. But I'll definitely leave. Uh, I'll make a post. I'll add to everyone, guys. My Discord link is in the description as well. I go usually there and I announce at everyone that I'm going live. So perhaps join my Discord as well. And yeah, then I'll be seeing you guys uh, tomorrow again. 4 p.m. EST. I'm not good with the other timelines and stuff. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming out to watch the mod. Uh, like I said, so far, let me just pause it. So far, I've, uh, like I said, really enjoyed it. Um, all the new stuff, it's a really awesome overall so far. Um, I'm actually expecting good things from it uh, to, during tomorrow's stream, so we'll see. Um, I just need to make sure, I need to find a way not to die so much. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Uh, comments, thoughts, and uh, feedback down below. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Also, with, if it's within your means, uh, consider becoming a Patreon. Um, you can actually join me on my Darkest Fall server and you get shoutouts in all my videos and that just helps support the channel. Anyways, I hope you guys have the enjoy the rest of your evenings and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.